Alrighty, chat. Are you excited for another exciting episode of Rut Grind? Hey! Yeah! It's not that exciting. Shut up. Oh, okay. We're going Wah. back. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Secrets, please. Wah. Wah. Welcome, everyone, to another exciting Wah. episode of Rock Grind. I am your host today, Zorin the Bear. I'm playing Orin the Strix Druid, and I am joined by other amazing players, starting off with Oda Roshi. Hi, hello. I'm Odo. I'm playing the artist formerly known as Va Lee Vina, the Sylph Swash Buckler, here to buckle your swash in particular. I'm pointing at you, you there. Next up, we have Hokey Crow. That is me. I am Hokey Crow, and today, as always, I'll be playing the Kenrasu Cleric Rahua. And I just want you to know that I did remember pancakes this Thursday. And then we have Arendelle. I'm Erndil, and I'm a writer working with Alpha Busa and a bunch of other shit, and I am playing as Baldric, the alchemist, and I am very, very slightly tired. I had to turn to look to see what the hell my cat Woody was doing in the window. He, he was just moving. And speaking of cats, we have Speaker D. Everybody wants to be the cat, but the cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. But I'm a dog person, and I'm Speaker D, and I'm playing Tannhauser, and he's a robot, and he's a wizard, and well, he's not a wizard, he's a magus, and he and he's got and he's got and, he, and he's got a sword, and he and he, and sorry, you go, I'm scared. And of course, we're all level eight, by the way, in case anybody uh, who only listens to this on audio, we're level eight uh, now. Eight. Uh, Yes, level eight now, because I have to have to say it out loud, because sometimes I read the comments and go like, what level are they? <laughs> like, I never found out, you know, because some people only eight. listen to this on podcasts, which, of course, you can always visit all of our stuff at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. Get things early. Subscribe over to the Twitch or come watch us live on twitch.tv forward slash narrative declaration. That really helps us out. Or watch us all on YouTube where you get the VODs for free a week after the broadcast and everything goes out. But, of course, the one who brings everything together, one who leads our merry band of chuckle fucks through this grim, dark world of rock grind is our illustrious game master, Thurston Hillman. Destined band. You're a destined band. Ah, uh, hello, everyone. It's me. I'm... Oh, God, it's like a few days away from Gen Con. Um, I don't know what reality is. I have a game session to run today. I'm sure I'll do a good job of it or make up stuff. Hi, that's me. And you always do a good job. Yeah, you always do a good job, Thurston. Thank you for being give, uh, give, a uh, Give Odo a hero point. Yay! Uh, you also do a good job, Thurston. <laughs> Yeah, I want to. I want to briefly call attention to this, uh, Odo. I'm pretty sure your. I'm pretty sure your spouse just gifted tier one subs. What? Stop oh, giving me money. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> on on the Nardex stream, very funny. I don't think so. It <laughs> would be Jesus. funny. Is that is that not Ollie? No, no, I do no, not no, believe no, that. No, is another uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, now that now that you've outed everything, remember if never you mind, too I'm want racist. to help out. If you two want to help out um, the entire show or give people hero points, as Thurston did, you every time you do a bit donation here on Twitch uh, and you do hashtag the player, uh, the player's character's name or the character's name, it's always going to uh, spell out there for you. It'll fill up our hero point bar. And thank you, uh, Sonosu, for helping code this together. It's all custom coded for us. So thank you so much for that. And it gives us a hero point. We roll 20s, all that other fun stuff. And as we go on through our adventure today, Thurston... What yes. do you have for us? Well, as speaker um, types. Okay. So as speaker types, um, what I can say that we we have is going to be a very good recap brought to you by our good friend Odoroshi. I and thought this decided, was a bit. I thought this was a bit. <laughs> we've we've decided that Odo is going I gotta to get out of here. I gotta go. Episode. I gotta go. No, you're oh, gonna I actually, read. I've decided I actually really gotta I gotta go to the bathroom, guys. Goodbye. No, I you're gonna read out of the oven. Uh I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, time, I'm gonna quickly uh, I'm gonna quickly draw attention to the fact that Odo has been glued to her chair. Mm -hmm. Yep. I might narrowly declare with your hero point that you were given that you can't leave. But yeah, oh, but I can't leave. Here. We're we're gonna we're gonna spice this up a bit too. It's not just gonna be a recap. It's gonna be for every time Odo gets something in the recap wrong, she has to win 
a round of Yu-Gi-Oh. So it seems like this has become the Yu-Gi-Oh stream. Uh, we're going to be no- doing nothing but Yu-Gi-Oh for the next uh, a- around 48 hours. Wait, uh, <laughs> Thurston, what the fuck? You, you, you don't play Yu-Gi-Oh in rounds. It's not poker. <laughs> you don't... <laughs> <laughs> you assume I know you, you don't, you don't get a dark magician card, straight. <laughs> Go fish. <laughs> oh, this what is going to be even day. better with speaker uh, backseat Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. Here. Come on. All right, now. All right, Odo, come on. We're waiting. You get one normal summon. Continue. <laughs> All right. Pot cool. of Reed. Um, Pot of Reed, so, what does that do? Uh, last session, Two we, we, we came back from the swamp. We're all covered in swamp goo. Um, we went back to Baldrick's house. We were rolling a giant, uh, wooden egg. It was wooden, I believe. I, I recall it being some shade of brown. Like two twigs <laughs> and brambles and things. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. So we rolled in a giant egg into Baldrick's house. We said hello to our best friend, Crunch, best boy. Um, we found out that indeed the bit had come full circle and the wall between the forge and Baldrick's home was knocked in. Objectively hilarious. Uh, Baldrick came out, uh, he generally was unhappy to see us, but we were very happy to see him. Uh, the egg hatched, and, uh, it produced a beautiful, beautiful baby dragon that Zorin, uh, drew for us. Oh, that it, got uh, updated now, Truly, finally. truly yeah. worthy of Picasso. Do you want to show the art, Thurston, of, uh, what Skelly did for good old Gorgamunger? To show off what she did? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, give one sec here. Let me, uh, let me. Sorry, you were probably using this time to <laughs> do other stuff. Oh, let me see. Oh, 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 no, no, I got it. I got it. I got yeah, it. I, I got, got it. it. Here, here. I got it. I got it. Right here. Bam. Okay. Just yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Oh, Bam. There you go. Oh, where God. is the other one? Or, you know, the cool <laughs> handout version. Yeah. Bam. I don't have access to that one, but He's there you go. So cute. I want to hold him. Uh, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Yeah, uh, and then uh, a, a, a child threw eggs at Baldrick's house. The child then ascended to the next plane uh, of existence. Uh, uh, then we got a letter, a mysterious letter, telling us to go somewhere in the... I believe it was the... Oh, it's one of the rich people, Pilasters. Um Prince. Prince, yes, the prince. Um... We got a note to meet a mysterious benefactor in that place. Uh, we decided to go investigate, uh, kind of smelling that something was wrong. Uh, Rohua and Baldrick split off to go to Flive Guys to get a burger and fries. Um, uh, Vita, Tanhauser, and Oren all went off to investigate uh, our, our mysterious benefactor. Uh, we were unfortunately discovered by the mysterious benefactor because we are very good at our jobs. Uh, we sat down and made small talk. Um, he did not want to make small talk with us. Uh, Baldrick and Rahua then came and joined us. And then uh, we were given a mission by uh, the gold guy. He was gold. He was a representative of order. Uh, Rahua didn't like that. And I'm really sorry about that, buddy. Uh, yeah, that's the recap. Uh, so Ooh, he has new art. So, um, yeah, there's some, there's some, there's some art. Um, describe him for me, Thurston. Yeah, yeah. So, so this fellow, the, the, ch- the Chamberlain Anathian is a perfectite touched, uh, individual who has almost uh, golden skin with hexagonal irises and slick back, uh, very almost platinum white hair. And a, uh, you know, uh, fancy sort of noble-ish attire, a, a like pulled over, uh, turtleneck. And um, that was not where our session did end, though. Over you know what this session. guy looks like, Thurston? What? what what's? It looks, looks like he goes like? to the Cloud District often. His yeah, smug aura uh, uh, fills me with rage. Also, he is like a character from Path of Exile, which is if you actually saw how long his neck was, it would be disturbing to see. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. He is a Templar. Um, but that all being said, uh, there was something else, Odo. Where do we where did we end off last session? 
Yeah, we're oh. otherwise otherwise you're playing you. Fuck, I'm sh I'm shuffling my deck, Thurston. So much has happened. I got fucking married, bro. Yeah, let, uh, let me give you a let me give you a a reminder. Oh yeah! The toilet stall noble was about to get fucking got. All right. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Uh. <laughs> I believe one of the last lines from our last session was a uh, speaker making some comment about saving Stuart Little. Um, I, I mean, Stuart Max was, Stuart uh, Big. <laughs> I think it was Stuart Medium. Yes, Stuart, Stuart Medium. Medium. <laughs> Thank you. It was very good. Um, Contest. Yes, yes. People are going to listen to this in sequential order. Going like, dude, guys, you just had a session last time. How did you forget stuff? Uh, we've had to skip a couple sessions because of scheduling issues. So. It's been a bit. Yeah. So yeah, we, so sorry if we, we didn't remember it, you know, by photograph. Please yeah, go easy and, on me. My brain and, is made of soup. And, and Odo got married. So, you know, that, yeah, that's a like big a thing that happened. Loser. It wiped our memories. You, know. yeah. you guys can remember it so we don't have to. Yeah. The nostalgia, yeah, Odo. In your walls. I can't believe Doug Walker officiated it. Yeah, it was oh, yeah, really yeah. nice for him to come out. Uh, the entire Channel Awesome crew, uh, you know, it was it was it was just fantastic. They even brought the M Bison hat. We even had it at Kickassia. Um, Shall we is, move uh, on? Yeah, please do. Thank you. I don't please. want to relive the early two thousands. Please end this. Let's keep going. End this. <laughs> all right. Um, so all of you have approached uh, from the north uh, to the south. Uh, into this this the square, um, the, the apple cart square where they are um, currently. There are various members of the Tyrant's Guild. There is a large, um, like almost like a thirty foot radius of like just people crowding the area. Some big, some 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 like medium, some small creatures all sort of g gaggling about with um, different um, abasers from the Tyrant's Guild sort of forming a patrol. There are menial undead, like regular sort of rank and file um, policing undead at the, the further ends of the area. Uh, and you can see that there is this, you know, this, this poor, uh, this poor rat folk who is uh, basically on the hanging block, and there is a you know gold armored figure that has begun you know, to to indicate that uh, this individual was was responsible for uh, maybe someone else's action at uh, Derek Sandrin House, um, which we all remember from the end of our first adventure was uh, was a site of a, of a great fight where our players maybe did some stuff. But it's all being blamed on this this poor toilet stall noble. Um, and all of you can sort of see past the crowd up, up on this elevated stone platform and then further elevated up um, on basically like a, a, a wooden stand that has like the the the, the you know, hanging apparatus and gibbets and all that um, is this individual Boom. I'll share this art again they are sort of a gold armored member of the tyrants guild uh, with a very ornate helmet sort of like dangling golden chains uh, and they, they seem to be like pacing around and giving a bit of a presentation on the stand um, so what are you all doing as, as this is going on? They haven't quite hung hung poor poor Stuart Medium yet, but yeah. Mm. What do y'all want to do? Um, I'm kind of wanting to duck in the crowd and see where this is going. This might uh, give us some good info about what's happened in the wake of the Martinet's death. I have a distinct feeling where it's going to go is to the end of a rope, Odo. Uh, yes, yes, indeed, and we'll, we'll we'll deal with that when we get there. Yeah, how how imminent is this hanging? Are they like seconds away, or is uh, like, like like they they haven't fully put like a noose around this person yet? They're yeah, they're yeah. sort of it's like pacing and proselytizing to the crowd. Uh, could I quickly give a outset law to see if I can uh, recognize this fellow or maybe anything that he is about. You know, everything everything I need to know about him effectively. Society! Just society? Not outside Just law? Society. This would, this would be outside of law. This is uh... definitely more like a, a society style check. Well, luckily, it's the same roll. Woo woo! And I roll low. Uh, it's 22. Okay. 
22 is is enough to give you a little bit of information here. Not quite everything, but not uh, not not a complete wash. Um, so you don't recognize the specific individual. However, you recognize based off of their their armor, uh, their actual, I suppose, rank um, within the Tyrant's Guild and sort of what what role they play. Um, you recognize them as an Infilium. Um, Infiliums are uh, a member of the Tyrant's Guild. They're um, provided to the Tyrant's Guild as um, a tithe from the Church of the Baron. Um, they act as advisors, healers, and supporters of regional <coughs> leaders, and in many cases, um, they'll, they'll have like more more um, sway and power where they are than even like the local martinet just because of the fervor in which they act. Um, they also operate a little bit outside of the uh, the Tyrant's Guild's regular hierarchy and are empowered to report issues uh, like even up to the level of martinet to the, the, the magnanimity which is the like leading body of the, the Tyrant's Guild so they can kind of act as like almost like advisors but spies within the guild. Uh, Pope Cup. Do they, uh, I guess, adding on to that check, are they in, like, our league, or are they, like, leagues beyond it? They are, they are certainly people of varying skills and talents, i.e. they could, like, be any level, basically. Okay, so, like, you could find these guys that are, like, we could have beaten these guys up half a year ago, but you could mm -hmm. find guys like this who are like big bad booty daddies. Got it. Got yeah. it. Um, uh, so real quick, just to, to clarify. Uh, so Vina, you were going to head into the crowd, right? Yeah. I'm going to try to kind of keep my head down in the crowd and just listen to what's going on. Are you like stealthing or are you just trying to like act like you belong in the crowd? Um, I'm going to kind of just act like I belong in the crowd. You know, I'm going to take the hat off and stuff it into my coat and kind of throw the coat over my shoulder at an angle where the feathers are kind of kind of hidden in its bulk. Okay. Uh, can you give me a um, society check for that? Oh, society, not deception? Yeah. You know what? I'll give you deception if you're trying to sort of just downplay your own personal nature. I'll, I'll give you deception here, too. Yeah, Thank you. Cool. You're a very kind... Oh, no, no, it's all good. Whoa. Ah, 31. 31, absolutely. Okay, so yeah, you, you start uh, maneuvering your way inside, and um, yeah. How close are you getting? Um, Close enough to hear, but not so close as to be spotted. Okay, so like, again, given like big gaggle of people, like maybe 20 feet away or so? Yeah, something like that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Awesome. Oh, awesome. So, yeah, you're getting close. All right. Um, back to the, the sort of the main group. I just want to make sure because you wanted to do that, uh, Vina. What about the rest of you? I know, uh, Waldrick, you'd sort of done some analysis on this individual. The rest of you are sort of hanging back. What? Are, how are all of you approaching this situation? Um, I think Tannhauser is going to vanish from view and cast Invisibility. Okay. Oh, fuck, he's casting the spell invisible. Uh, and then I'm going to be approaching, like, trying to get essentially, like, onto the stage. Like, that's where I'm going. I want to find some way to get onto the stage. Okay, oh, no. uh, so society would be a good option here because that's, like, kind of how you can navigate through crowds. So, yeah, you can give me a society check here. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Society! That is a 19, but I am invisiblest. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, so uh, you are going to uh, make your way up that uh, way. You're you're having like, you're you're able to move through. It's just it's just getting like difficult because like there's this there's this like really big guy who's in your way and he's like, oh, oh don't do that. And he kind of like looks over. Oh, I thought there was someone there. There wasn't someone there. Uh, and you kind of like have to like sneak past him and sort of just just make your way closer. Uh, all right, so what about the rest of you? Um, like Baldrick, Oren, and Rahula? I'll go last. Okay. I'll, oh. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I grab rope to create a charge. No. Uh, okay. Good. <laughs> I'm going to blow it. Good. 
So just real, just as a general idea, mm-hmm. what kind, what is the size of this gibbet? What is, how big is this platform? All right, well, how about I give you something that will maybe help you out a bit more? Well, okay. Oh, apple cart square. This is yeah. where they held the apple cart murderer. Yeah. Oh, so it's just straight up, and it's not like pressed up against a wall. It's dead center in the in the yeah. capital. Yeah, yep, yeah. and and so um, so just for our audio listeners, I've I've loaded up the map here. Uh, I have a bit of a like green template on here. This just represents like people. Um, so anyone in that green template on the map, that is difficult terrain essentially, uh, as like there's people all around. I've got tokens there just to sort of give it a visual flair, but generally speaking, like you can assume anything in that area has people sort of mulling about. Let me. Th- I'll tell you what, someone else go before me because I need to think about what the fuck I'm going to do. Well, then that leaves us with Rahua if uh, Rahua. Arn wants to go last. Rahua is going to start moving into the crowd because I'm sensing we're going to need to put a stop to this because we don't want somebody to get executed for our own misgivings. Also, that's a fucking kill steal. They're not going to steal our glory. Orn will, <laughs> will, uh, will tug Rahua back before he goes. He goes, Rahua, you remember the piece of paper that had our faces on it and the number of money and stuff for our capture? Well, yeah, of course. You're very recognizable. We, Me and you might want to stay back, and if something does happen, I can better help you get in there. So for us, we probably need to hang back a bit and let any you know, kind of motions to Tannhauser and Bali and, uh, and Baldrick. You know, we might want to stay back a bit. Me and you are quite easily identifiable. They can mesh in a lot more. So we probably need to hide behind there. And Orin will motion towards a tree uh, that's a bit bottom left of us here on the battle map. And be like, we could probably hide back there. Uh, obviously with us, our Orin motions to his wooden arm and he motions to Rahu, who practically looks like a tree. We could probably just blend in there and be back up and... I can really easily get you in there if we need to. You know, that's a really good idea, Oren. That's why you're the one who makes the tactical decisions. Always. Oren just nods, not knowing <laughs> if this is an out-of-character slight or not. <laughs> no, no he's, he's, he's being genuine. He's like, he, he, tr- he trusts you. He, tr- he trusts Oren. Uh, oh, so yeah. I, I'm sorry to like to impose a decision on you but uh if you want uh no 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 that's, that's together, almost certainly smarter <laughs> can hide behind uh the tree that's on the battle map there i'll no i'll just steal like a like a tablecloth off of uh one of the carts and cover myself up oh yes i'm just a very big grandma uh, or can i uh as a nature check uh mm-hmm. rip off a couple like like twigs and stuff for one of the nearby bushes or trees and like kind of help us blend in a little bit Fucking love get the like a vine, Get like a yeah. vine wall and like throw it over me. <laughs> there's like there's like this intense music. It's like some fucking you know drama movie. Like Volley's trying to get through the crowd. Like invisible Tanhouse just like trying to move through. And this ogre's like knocking over. And there it's like we gotta get to the president before they get him. And then you've got Rowan Orton in the back. We're like, all right, I'm gonna put this tree over you. We need to cut pieces of this tree off to make you more tree. <laughs> um, th- th- you know what? Thirst, I, I I got, I'll do, I do one better. Uh, yeah, I yeah. would love to cast. Uh, I'll wa- I'll wa- or who will wave his hands in the air? Uh, like and he just don't care. And, yeah, yes, like he just doesn't care. Uh, and out of the the thin miasma of reality, will make a magical set of shitty, shitty leaves appear, enough of negligible bulk to conceal whatever he can of himself. And if not himself, if it's going to be too small, to at least give it to Orin. And I'm going to just, I'm going to use press digitation. Okay, 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 okay. So, ah, fucking Christ. All right. So like you're moving like over to this tree over here to like your le- your immediate right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, yeah. tree we're gonna metal your solidus and stealth it along the wall. Place yourself <laughs> where you want to be in that tree. Okay. So I want to go here where I can hide in and to okay. disguise myself. I mm-hmm. want to cast humanoid form, which okay. I got. Uh, sorry, uh, Twitch viewers, the description of this is way long. Practically, to what is it? Lasts for ten minutes. 
Uh, but basically, as I'm hiding behind the tree, I transform myself to be a dwarf, to look okay. like a dwarf and stuff, like with blonde hair, big old blonde beard, everything Short else. Moment. And I look like I'm just tending to the trees, like I belong here. Okay. 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 Um, okay. Uh, so you're just like dwarf. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's get some skill checks. Like, what skill check are you going to use to stay hidden, uh, Rahua? Like, I know you're prestidigitating, but like, what are you? What, what skill are you using to? Ah, uh, if prestidigitation alone is not going to assist, since it's not super convincing, could I? Could I reason with you mm -hmm. that I could use crafting to? make use of this tree's very real and non-negligible bulk to make up for the inconsistencies in this sham of a disguise. Okay, okay, what skill are you wanting, like, nature to sort of... Could I use crafting for that? I mean, if you let me use more nature, because yeah, I know I'll, more trees. I'll let, you, I'll let you use, uh, I'll let you use nature crafting here. Okay, okay. It's your choice. Dealer's choice I'll, here. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, use, I'll use nature. I'm okay. not feeling as confident. Did you spell wood to tree? I got a 22. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, and then, um, oh gosh, Oren. So you're like, you're you're sort of doing this. Are you, um, are you like also as you're like shifting form with your magic? Are you just like spending your time looking out in the crowd? Because you don't, you don't have to spend as much time as Saber Hua does to disguise himself in there. I, I am keeping an eye on as much as I can on uh Bali or Arvina rather on Vina mm -hmm. and Baldric. Uh obviously can't see Tanhauser anymore. But I'm just like mm -hmm. keeping an eye on the situation. So if things do go wrong, like buff Rahua and send him in the battle and join the stuff, activate. So he's he uh Orin is playing backup and just keeping an eye on things. And if they need anything, he's got all this utilitarian they can call back on him on. So that's what Orin's doing. I'm the invisible man. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. Uh, give me, give me a perception check then, Oren. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, hey, you're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, I saw that natural one almost land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you like, get? Uh, I got a twenty-three total. Okay, twenty-three. Perfect. 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 And then we'll come back to Baldrick. How are you sort of setting up for all of this, Baldrick? Baldrick? Mm, I have thinking. an idea. He is. All right. So what I'm going to do is because I was originally thinking of trying to mingle in the crowd and get close and possibly destroy the scaffold. Uh, that's not a great <laughs> idea at this moment because of how this area is laid out. Uh, and there are obviously lots of guards for, for obvious effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duck to the side over here and hide behind these carts so I can think of a better plan while I'm not out in the fucking open. Okay. So I will do a sneak. I will yeah, give me a little stealth, please. Uh, lay. Uh, hang on a second. Let's make sure. Oh, I got, I got armored stealth. I can... Why do I keep getting that? Fuck you. Go. Another eight. We're a 25. Be worse. Um, so you can move yourself to where you want to be sort of along the edge there. Yeah, so he's going to, like, keep a low profile near these carts and put line of sight blockers in between him and these guys and as many yeah. of these as he can. He's going to basically just keep a, a, a firm watch, and I would like to, if I may, Thurston, uh, this scaffold for hanging that is here... Yes. Is it just stone? Uh, well, there is like a stone, like there is a storm stone platform. You can kind of see it on the map that has small like stairways yeah. that go up. It's it's just maybe about three feet elevated. Like it's fairly, you know, it's not not a massive uh, leap. Right. Uh, then on top of it is this like wooden scaffold on top of the stone platform here. Oh, I can so barely see is... that under the green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just underneath. That's kind of where I thought it was in color elevated. No, it's not a couch. Here, I can I can move the tokens over so you can get like a better look. There we go. Okay, yeah. now I see it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's just um, this like wooden wooden platform there. Let me see. And I presume these walls surrounding us. To, can I do an engineering to see if these walls are particularly well built? Mm, yeah, go 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 ahead. Uh, so so I should clarify, like to to your side, uh, you're actually elevated. Like this is all like a stone walkway that. Oh, is we're in above the air. Buildings. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is okay, like okay. So that changes that changes here. how this works entirely. Fuck. Yeah. Because there's like buildings underneath you, you can kind of see them as you look over. There's a bit of like a ledge there that goes up, like again about three feet, so like uh, up to your chest, and you can sort of peer over and see down on the tops of buildings lower. And uh, what there is are, this thing? Those are pillars. There are pillars that okay. sort of rise up to like a, a sealed area above. Like again, outset is is this vertical city, right? So up above you, there's like another walkway as well. Gamers never look up. Uh. Hell, I need to think. As you're oh, thinking, as, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, just come, Rua. come back to me. I need to. <laughs> Rua, no, your leaves. <laughs> oh, thank so, you, thank you. He's like, he starts, he just starts gluing shit to your face. Yeah, I'll tell oh, you what, Thur Thurston, can I like, can I like fend off my turn for a moment, or while I think of what else I should be doing here? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you're you're in a good position. I mean, no one's like per per, per per se like had like full actions, right? This is more like your setup. So so we're kind of good with with the the, the setup of things. Um, the only one who's kind of like still trying to get closer uh, right now is Tanhauser, who um, has like had some had a bit of a like scuffle getting through the crowd and around has got to a good point. Um, but what happens at this point is you've all kind of like started started your setup and started moving in and splitting up um, is that the the infilium takes a moment to pause on the stand and like gestures at uh, Stuart medium and like like clenches their fist and is making a proclamation and as they they make this proclamation there is this sound this sound that is like a a wail that reverberates despite the open nature of the square um and and like it has this like deep rumbling to it but also a crackle um it, and, and yet it, it just kind of shakes everything it's like a cry of some kind um and as that happens baldrick you're in like enough of a position to see it the two um and you can kind of see it based on the on the pillar you sort of see around it to the edges the two skeleton guards to the east they end up hurtled towards the crowd but you tell as they're flying towards the crowd it's not their like regular bodies. They've all been broken apart. So their bones are just flying, landing like, you know, chunks of bone and the armor they wore sort of flying like they'd been broken apart in a single solid hit. Um, and that's when following up as the crowd turns and there's shocks and shouts, something rushes out immediately after them, like a comet that follows them. Um, and you have, have have seen this thing somewhat before, but you see what can only be described as an amalgam of elemental parts oh, that not this thing. tunnels Food? through oh. the crowd. Um, and it has barreled its way forward. Um, and um, since I've had you all uh, secretly roll initiative anyways with all of your skill checks. We're going to dive right in. Um, starting with this thing again um, that begins to essentially push its way into the crowd uh, indiscriminately just like crushing as it moves forward and as it does so um, all of you can like specifically like Tannhauser, you get a view of this this large creature as it comes like and the way it moves is so unnatural. It's and I should describe it a bit better for, for audio listeners and for you. It's it's this this amalgam of like chunks of metal and stone that are held aloft by air and flickering embers and even bits of water. It's it's a combination of every element. So the way it moves is just this like roiling unnatural motion like 
at one point it looks like it's like a rock boulder moving over the next it's moving like liquid it constantly shifts and as this happens it just goes through a whole bunch of crowd members coming um, like slithering up almost the, the the stone embankment at the side of the the symbol of the first house that is the the like the, the the stone rise here it comes up the side right beside two of the undead and what it does is it unleashes a blast um a, a straight line of um electrical energy it's like a a lightning bolt that comes out but this lightning bolt is followed up and and surrounded by a torrent of wind and this smashes into both of these skeletons and several of the crowd people like at least a dozen or so and causes them to almost domino into one another and then the, the civilians that strike some of them are just like flash incinerated in the moment and um, that's its go. And then we're going to hand over things to the next person in initiative, which will be Vina, who I have to update the token for because I haven't updated the token. Hey, Thurston, though. Yes. So given that the amalgam just flash disintegrated uh, about a dozen people in a straight line of lightning. Mm hmm. Would those spaces no longer be considered difficult terrain? Not once we factor in everyone's about to be panicking and running in every which direction, my dude. Well, you know, sometimes it takes a dreamer to dream a dream. Continue with your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very glad we had this. Uh, this exchange. All right. Um, as, yeah, as JB laughs in the other room. Excellent. Vina, you're up. <laughs> Uh, okie dokie. So my feet that allows me to step into difficult terrain, it doesn't let me ignore it, correct? Uh, it doesn't allow you to ignore it for everything, but what it lets you do is, like, you could five-foot step away from something, say if it had, like, a reactive strike, oh, sorry, attack of opportunity. I'm gonna use remaster terms now, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, if, if you take, like, a, if something were to take an attack of opportunity, you could, like, step through. Normally, you can't step into difficult terrain, so. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, that makes sense. I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's... Oh, God. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Surpr <laughs> Surprise, everyone. Surprise! Let me give a suggestion. If our objective is to mm. save the mouse guy, um, it's probably best to get in a yeah, position we to, grab him. to save him. Or well, if, if that thing's here to kill him. If you guys, I can definitely get Mouse Guy to safety at max in th like two turns. Uh, I could probably get him to a safer position in one. Yeah, but you in can two, teleport. I can I can get him out of danger like completely, even with this thing here. Uh, but that would mean essentially like dipping out of the amalgamate fight, um, which I mean the Tyrant's Guard are gonna try taking him out for us. We have a couple of turns. Uh, if there's any way to save the civilians, that might be a good use of our time. Yeah, but I can issue. save the rat. I, yeah, that's I, my issue. I'll, I'll put, I, I, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead, Baldur. I, I feel like everyone's going to start like scattering here in a minute as soon as they can theoretically do something. So we shouldn't worry too hard about that, I don't think. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is actually aiming at or attacking. It just kind of came in. Hey folks, yeah, mm -hmm. it's Venus go. <laughs> no, and I'm not saying I'm not saying that to 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 downplay the the convo. What I'm saying is is like this is a surprise thing, so like you don't have real time to like okay. strategize okay. now. That is true. That go is then. true. Um, go. in that case, this thing is killing civilians. Um, I'm going to trust that. If we kill this thing and it's been killing civilians, we might get some leniency for the rat. So I'm going to um. This is difficult terrain, so that's having my movement speed. My movement speed's 35. There's, yeah. Uh, uh, I think you round so, up, so think 20. So 20. It's, well, essentially, every one of them counts as two, basically. Is the right. Way. Yeah. All right, so I can get in melee range. Okay. Only you had caltrops. 
That's so true, Bestie. Damn it. I swear to God, we're gonna fight like the god on the moon at the end of this campaign because also the, the everyone thinks the moon is where we're going. Uh, we're gonna fight God on the moon, and Speaker's gonna pull out Caltrop. It's in walkers <laughs> all over again. Zero grav Caltrops. Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> all right. Um. So yeah, that's my first action. Second one. Oh god, it's not looking at me. I'm gonna attempt to. I'm gonna attempt to tumble through. Okay. Um. Let's do our bestest here. Sure. Uh, that's acrobatics. Oh, not great. Uh, a twenty-five doesn't make it, does it? Sure does not. You find yourself unable to find a good way to tumble through the amalgam of stone and fire and water and crackling electricity, and also there's crowds people who are starting to panic and begin to run around you. You kind of bounce back from it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hero point reroll that. Sure. Um. Just because I think it's best for me to kind of get out of the crowd. Absolutely. That's worse, That's actually. Worse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So tumbling through this thing is not my option right now. Um, I am instead going to. Um... No, I think making it flat footed and repositioning is better than just kind of whacking it, so I'm going to just one more time try to tumble through it. Cool. Uh, third time's the charm, right, guys? Hey! Yeah, there we go. That's a 38. Yeah, that'll get through it. I don't right. know, will it? Are you sure about that, Thurston? I think you will find <laughs> Alright, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna tumble through it, uh, <laughs> and that will hopefully get it flat-footed for my friends to follow up. Cool. All right. So you have you've moved you've moved to the opposite side of it. Um, it's hard to even suss out how this thing reacts to you. Um, all right. So with that, some of the uh, uh, the the stationed abasers begin to to react here. Um, they go one, two, and then one, and then one of them comes up and. Um, you know what? Attempts to uh, to strike it. The abaser comes up having drawn a long sword and takes a slash at the amal amalgamate creature yeah. and misses horribly. Um, yeah. I will, I will, I will, I will reveal, <laughs> reveal, reveal <laughs> to everyone. Uh, misses terribly, and this thing is just sort of like, you know, looking down. Another one begins to like push their way through the crowd pushing pushing and that's like all their moves is just to get up to this thing um and that's that uh one of the the pre-programmed skeletal soldiers begins a slow advance and stops the crowd and then that brings us to baldrick so baldrick you see all of this you see um it's hard it's hard to see some of your allies through the crowd but you kind of have a general idea of placement except of course for uh for tanhauser who you have no idea What indeed? You've left me with so much. Mm-hmm. I have. Oh, I think I just heard the storm hit me. Fantastic. Um, If you ever never have any idea, you can always delay your turn or prepare an action or a thing to do. I don't know what to prepare is the, is the thing. Like, because I don't want to just start chucking bombs into the crowd because, you yeah. know... That is kind of bad. Bad for the reputation. Bad for life. Everything. The pursuit yeah. of happiness. If you I mean, don't know anything, you can always uh, try to recall knowledge. It maybe. I mean, it might be hard because you might need an Arcana check. But yeah, about to say this looks funny. Thurston, would I be able to recall knowledge on this orb? Um, your best bet is like nature. Nice. I don't have that. <laughs> uh, I have plus one in that. So, I mean, I could make the terrain. I could make this just like really weird. I could start throwing smoke sticks. Maybe that'll help disperse the crowd. Will that work? Thurston, if I start hurling smoke sticks in the crowd, will that go? They're unpleasant to breathe, I presume, correct? 
Yeah, you can already tell, though, that the crowd is starting to, like, bolt in different directions. Like, once this thing came rootin' tootin' in, like, they're breaking up. Um, in, in fact, it's already kind of unsafe the way they're moving. They'll, they'll disperse. It's just going to be a take a bit for all these people to, like, stop running into each other and hitting each other and possibly doing damage to people to, in the area. To try to lob it at the mouse guy. I'm sorry if I'm metagamer trying to backseat. Um, no, I was thinking that already anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was like, uh, up ten on that end. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. I was thinking about what I wanted to do here, and honestly, bombarding is not the choice here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly alchemy together a smoke stick, and I'm gonna draw and throw it. Because hey. I didn't have any it? equipment prepared. Where are we tossing it to? So let me see here. This thing has a nine square effect radius, correct? Or it's which like one? The, a smoke stick. Regular? Lesser. Burst uh, is five feet. Uh, so, so it's going to be, um, it's basically going to be like a two by two square, thing. right? Yeah, yeah. Two by two. Yeah. Just this? Uh, yeah. Five feet? Mm. Yeah. It's the radius of the burst, so that would be this big, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, this this big. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Because you said two by two, and I'm like, that's right. It depends where you throw it. If you throw it in a square or an intersection, blah blah. blah, blah. Why would I be able to throw it in an intersection? I've never been able to do that before. Mm. You're cheating. Mm -hmm. hey, I'm gonna throw it there as best I can. Master's changing the rules on us. That's why that is. I'm going to detonate. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. So it's only in the corner of my space. Can I throw it? Uh, well, it's got range increments, right? So you'll just take a penalty if you it's it? beyond your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it just says with a sharp twist of this item, you instantly create a thick screen of opaque smoke and a burst centered on one corner of your space. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's smoke sticks. Yeah, you, you don't throw those ones, do you? You just put it on your space. That's right. So... I'd spend yeah. my hero point on the to declare to, to see if he can. Yeah, do I'm not gonna yeah. do that because I, I want to save that for when I might have to actually hit something with attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, just put me at the end of the put me at the end of the turn list, Thurston. and I can't do gonna fucking delay? shit. Okay, delay for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. delaying. Because okay. I, uh, I I'm in a, I'm in a precarious position where I'm a bomber skilled alchemist and I can't. I can't AOE, so you how do could I... make a knowledge check. See, maybe if this amalgamate is immune to uh, electric damage, save me. He, from, are, uh... he already asked that because it's it's a nature check which he does not have. So. Ah, yeah, not nature based. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, Who's next? I'm getting there. Uh... It's Gilbert. All right, it's an abaser who doesn't cause an explosion. He moves and moves and moves. That's their action. Terrific. There is a Skelly who goes to the end of the crowd, and then it is over to Oren. Oren will look at uh, Rahua, and uh, you'll see him in his in his dwarfy guise. Uh, and he says, like, I need to go and help everyone get the safety. Here, go ahead and take this. And he'll, and he'll put his hand on Rahua um, and basically, it's, and he'll he'll chant his words of saying, "Run and dodge with feet so light, makes with nature's gift take rapid flight." And he'll cast haste on Rahua, and so he'll go, whoa, 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 whoa. Now Rahua, you have haste. You get the quicken thing. You can drag that quicken thing in the chat there on your token. It'll buff you all up. Basically, what that does, you are able to. You have an extra action now, but you can only use that to stride, which means you're going your full movement speed or you are able to strike normally. You're not going to be able to use that to like cast a spell or anything. So that's what you can do that. So you have one free basically thing of movement or one free hit, one free hit with that. So that's how that works. And for my final action, since I'm by the tree, I'm not like super covered. I'll basically start motioning to everyone, say, uh, try to yell very loudly, just try to like convince everybody saying, that's way, that's way, that's safety, everyone. Go this way! And he's gonna start like motioning people, trying to make himself as loud and bombastic as possible, trying to direct all of the people to go north. So he can like hey. try to get people out of the battle zone and just try to help out. Wanna give me a diplomacy check for that? I absolutely will. 
Yeah. I have a plus one to diplomacy. I love it. <laughs> so here we go. That is oh, a 18. Yeah, yeah. This is as good as I'm going to get it. I would have also accepted, like, you know, rolling terribly, like, hey, hey, big guy, get going, get going. <laughs> uh, but as you, you do, the, the, the northernmost of the, the crowd begins to search, and you see, like, the large ogre fellow starts running away. <laughs> Fire bad. <laughs> um, as and they that, sort of, like, rush off. And that is the end of Oren's turn, because I took all three of my actions. Cool. All right, Rahua, you're up. Okay. Oren will. Or sorry, yeah, Oren. I, I, I'm playing Oren. Oren will. Uh, uh, Rahul will notice that he is now empowered and quickened thanks to Oren's generosity and look back at his friend. Oh, oh, thank you very much, friend. You Little did you know, you took the words right out of my mouth. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> and he'll thumbs up. <laughs> let me return the favor, so to speak. Uh, Rahul will reach up his mechanical hand and Orin, if Orin happens to be looking at Rahu at that time, would see the mechanisms in this amalgam mechanical arm begin to whir and tick as silver threads seem to extend from very faintly in the light all of Rahu's fingers to each member of the party, save I think for Vina. Actually, I can uh, what, we can, what, we can remedy this. We, I can fix this. I can use fix your this. full okay. movement. Now we're once good. you stop, it'll be a problem. So take your full movement now because you have yeah, four me, actions. Uh... So use that one movement again and as close as you can because you might want to help everyone. You know that's a great idea. I'm that actually it works out so well. So everything still happens, but now Rahu is now, a little bit closer. Now, you you did you did kind of count the the difficult. It hasn't gone away yet. It's still difficult. Oh, of course. In this crowd. Yeah. Well, let me just, just go back a square. And yeah. yeah. That's fine. Okay. Well, now with cool. that taken care of, Rahua reaching his hands up, and you'll see a flash of light extend along these invisible lines in the air traced each member of the party as a mirror image of them flickers in and out in just a moment as Rahua will cast Loose Time's Arrow. And now all members of the card party are now quickened. Wanna wait, wait, wait. You wanna, you wanna link that for me? Of course. Mm. Up, up to six. Loose Time's Arrows. Two actions. All targets up to six creatures, 30 feet duration until the end of your next turn. You pluck the time stream like a bow, pull one string back, release, and mm -hmm. watch a creature fly. All affected targets are quickened, and they can use the extra action to only step or stride. And quickened is pretty much what I did to uh, Rahua. So everyone I, now gets a strike or thing. But it's I have cool. good news and bad news for this. Okay. The uh, good news is is that your, your ability is awesome, but you cannot target Tanhouse. Oh, because he's invisible? Because he can't see. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> That's yes, fine. No. I, I was also going to include a... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to include Stuart Middle on that one, too. Oh, Stu okay, <laughs> Stuart Middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, I got you. I got you. Okay. Stuart Middle. That's an awesome spell, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. He's very good. Big good. It's kind of like, you know, haste, haste spread out, um, but only one, one round. So, um, all right, cool, cool, cool. Is that it for you, Rahua? Uh, that'll be it. Uh, once again, we have another Skelly soldier walking up. One of the Tyrant's Guild starts like maneuvering their way through the crowd, but holy crap, are they taking their time through that? Uh, at this point, you can see that the inf William um, begins to actually pull off the stage and starts to make their way away from everything. Tannhauser, you're up. All righty then. So I should be able to move to here, no problems. It's half of my speed, even though it's difficult terrain. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So that's one action. Yeah. Then, what to do next? I worry for the fate of Stuart Middle. Um, I'm going to then... <laughs> uh, whisper to Stu. Is it an action to whisper? Um, I mean, you could, like, do it for free. It's free action. Okay, yeah. I'll just whisper. Comrade, the revolution has come. We 
are getting you out. Um, and then I have a risky call to make here. I can either do something to guarantee I get Stuart Middle out next turn or grab and start moving now, which is less of a guarantee, but could get him out of immediate danger. So I think I'm going to go with the guaranteed option. Okay. Uh, uh, so I'm going to cast on myself fly. Okay, cool. And, that, and after saying step forward, and that'll be my turn. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, that'll bring us to more of our Tyrant's Guild folks who will again sort of start like continuing down. One of them will actually manage to be able to take a swing at this thing again. Uh, missing oh. terribly. Oh. Um, another one is coming up. Man, they these guys are so good. Double, double move. They're so cool. Look at them die. Uh, the one by Vina uh, is going to try to attack. Oh my god! <laughs> really good. Uh, good so job, we'll try guys. to attack oh. again. Um, they 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 are not hitting this thing at all. Um, as they are just swinging into oblivion at it. Um, this one over here comes down and also tries. Uh, they have this thing surrounded. They are all attacking. They are like swords are being swung and nothing is happening. Uh, Baldrick, oh. it's the end uh, right now. Would you like to uh, to come out of your your delay yet, or would you like to wait for this thing to go? Or yeah, all shit, up now. dude. Uh the crowd's still here. I can't do nothing. I'm gonna reposition. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna reposition into the crowd, continuing to be stealth as best I can. Let's see. My move range is 20, so I can only move 10 because it's difficult. Should um, we go after the cop pope? The, the cope? Well, he's well, coping and seething right now. Where is he, anyway? Uh, right. Running off. This might be our chance to uh, I, uh, I nab don't a city official. I <laughs> don't think we should geek them. I think what we should probably be doing is, like... No, maybe we could tail them, as long as we get everyone else out, because I don't know what the fuck this I, thing is doing. I, I would vote that that is not a fight we need to deal with right now, and a bunch of dead Tyrants <laughs> Guild members is on our side, so honestly, I would have Vina leave, get Mouse Guy, and leave... There's no uh, reason to fight. Can't have this mask I'll tell you what, I'm... Well, uh, you know, thinking about it? No, Baldrick will shadow this person. Okay. I will I will try to move through the crowd as best I can. Well, so we wanted to... No. Oh, no, it's your turn. I'm shutting up. No, no, no. Oh, what's up? I'm just pointing out that we've wanted to get rid of this amalgamate for a while, right? I we mean, have, but we're not sure if we can... I, 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 I'm not sure if we can kill it right now. It comes and goes. I have no idea what the purpose of this thing is. And to be honest with you, uh, if I'm being in character, Baldrick doesn't really fucking care. Mm -hmm. He's got he's got bigger he's got bigger fish to fry, namely the big gold one. So I'm gonna move 20 feet, like through the crowd, if that's possible, mm -hmm. Thurston, yep. and try. Oh to yeah, stealth. the tokens are the right. like the, the the underlying tokens are. If just you want to shout of that guy, honestly, going outside because the ring is all difficult terrain. Going would through be... though, you you can just go around the ring at full movement. That would be way actions, faster, huh? So go yeah. full three actions around. Yeah, yeah, but I want to try not to attract any attention, so I want to try to stealth through it. If I, I mean, can. It's, there's a lot of chaos. You could probably stealth through most of this stuff pretty easy. Not to mention I'll ask Thurston if I can do that. Yeah, I'll let you uh, take two moves in a stealth test. Okay. Uh, can so how do I how do I keep this here so I move there again? I I'll just here. I'll just drink you. Thank you. Thank you. Two sweet. Okay, and then I will stealth check. And remember, actually, you get a free extra move too. So if you want to. Oh, like, do I? Go. Yeah, because yeah, you're quicken. So you can go to like. Oh, there. all right. Well, yeah, yeah. Then I'll move another. Yeah, I'll move even closer. Actually, put 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 me like behind these things rather than there. If possible, where was you I? You can move move yourself. Yeah, you got. Uh, actually, you want to be like there. Okay, yeah, that's yes, please. Yeah. What is the key to do that, by the way? Uh, I don't to make a know waypoint uh, as you're dragging over. Uh, you do. Oh space. no! Like if I'm doing this, can I move? Yeah, you just release. 
You just when you do, you just release it when you're doing it. If you're doing the measuring tool. Oh, I see. I never knew yeah. it did that. Jesus. Because yeah. every time I tried to drag, it never works. Yeah, you just because it's a it's a yeah. mod we installed. After yeah, when a while. you drag your token, it'll automatically measure for you. That's a mod we put in. And if you do oh, left Jesus control Christ. drag, that's just you aiming to seeing how far away something is. All right. In that case, I'm going to try and stealth now. Okay. That's twenty nine. That's well, better than my previous one too. So. It seems you are you are like being incredibly silent in the chaos of everything that is happening. Yeah, I want to tail this fucking gold fucker, whoever they are. Okay, I will seems learn information. By me. Okay, uh, that's the end of your go, Baldrick. Yeah, I guess. I mean, okay. I guess I'll end my turn. Well, I'm gonna go with the uh, the good old amalgamate. The good old. The them good old, old amalgamate. Um, so the amalgamate's gonna go, and it is once again going to um, do some do some work. It's going to shoot out another one of its lines, striking through the crowd from the edge, uh, hitting three members of the uh, of of the tyrant's guild. Um, so I am going to do a thing here real quick. Um, and I am going to, I think this will work. One, two. That's a one failure, two, another's a critical failure. Third one's a critical failure, failure. Cool. For, for podcast people, one roll of 21, second 13, uh, third one 16, and for Thurston, you can say how much damage it did. Uh, all you see is that this thing just incinerates three more of the abasers that were by it. Um, then, after it shoots out that a blast, it um, kind of reels back in front of the like one of the ones by it, and um, basically like bores down on it with a c combination of you know all the elements. Like it sort of pulls back and there's rocks and wind and electricity and fire and it all comes crashing down on the one in front of it. Ooh. No, oh, a seven was a critical? Uh, dealing, yeah, 44 points to the one in front of it and just ending it. Um, and that's its go. Well, you, need to re you remember, Odo, the these guys suck. Vina, <laughs> you're up. I guess they do. So you just see this thing like unleash a another bolt of electricity through the crowd. The crowd is now dissipating um, f f fairly heavily. Uh, but at this point, like you can tell, it's still going to be difficult terrain in here. But probably by the end of this round, that'll have, that'll have ended as everyone's sort of rushed off. Um, but he's just like took out four of them with almost no effort, as well as probably another half dozen people just incidentally from the bolt. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to the Tyrant's Guild guy next to me, who is probably still reeling with grief from the loss of his beloved comrades, and I'm gonna lean and nudge him with an elbow and go, "Get a load of these guys." Hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. I just saw my friends just get eviscerated. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? What you look at that? Nyak 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 nyak. This is this is my first day on the job. <laughs> I just got initiated. What the fuck? <laughs> well, it, it it was Leon S. Kennedy's first day on the job. Oh, too. God, no, don't say Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, wait, I would have Panache from last turn, correct? Uh, yeah, because you did, so here. Thank you, know. you. Going Super Saiyan. Um, yeah, I'm going to... I'm just going to try to hit this thing with a finisher to the best of my ability and just see where that gets me. Wheat. See if uh, I'm, I'm too low level for this this fate. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's get its ass. Uh, okay, I've got finisher checked. Excellent. <laughs> um. Oh dearie me. Um. I have... hero point reroll. Yeah. 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 yeah, that seems fair. Very good idea. Please roll a critical flail. Uh. Oh, I saw the twenty. Ah, unfortunate. But, uh, say lovey. Okay. Um, Roll damage. Damagio. Mm -hmm. uh, res a respectable 20 points of damage. Sick. 
And then it. it takes a small bit, um, and it takes a reaction against your attack. Oh. Terrific. I love attack of returning attack. Um, so I'll get you to click on your token where it says fortitude save, and... Um, <laughs> Oh my god, we're about to get a statue. Oh my god. And I'll god. explain what's about to happen to chat and, and our listeners once uh, once Vina clicks on that button and rolls that safe. Hey guys, remember how I just got rid of the rotten condition? Watch this. Check this out. <laughs> Turns into a statue. I oh, cool. knew it. <laughs> oh, cool. This this is the Everclear <laughs> bottle challenge. <laughs> All right, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> the amalgamate has a special ability called calcification, mm -hmm. which is triggered if you ever um, if you damage it. It uh, can reduce the damage by ten as long as it's from a physical source, which it does here. Uh, and then you have to make a fortitude save. If you fail, you're slowed one, and if you critically fail, you are petrified. Uh -huh. <laughs> so That's cool. the 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 Venus statue. Uh, um, as you strike this thing oh with your God. weapon, you feel something like arc over you, and it like oh you, you, then you you realize like something is happening to your skin, and you don't even have a moment to pull your blade back before you become this this beautiful statue that um, has like landed this expert blow. Um, huh. in in perfect huh. space and time, um, but the Venus statue is now a statue. Uh, you you of course um, lose your uh, remaining action. You lose your Aww. life. If you Not would like to know, panache. petrified is a condition. Um, oh yes, you would lose your panache, guys. Damn it! Thank you, speaker. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you become an object with a bulk, double oh. your normal bulk, um, yeah, and you right. you have AC and hardness. Um, if you yeah. the statue is destroyed, you immediately die, and your harness Correct. is eight. So if they do more than eight HP to you, you just straight up die. No save. Good luck. Don't go past go. Do we hey have guys. any way of undoing that? Well, who knows? We'll find out. Um, <laughs> hey guys, remember, remember how I uh, wasn't rotten for one session? Let's go. <laughs> Sure. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. I, I feel no fucking pity because you had two hero points at the beginning of this session and you used oh, them both did. to reroll offensive things and <laughs> oh. sometimes you get what you deserve okay um, Statue of Vina, the artist formerly known as Vina uh, excellent uh Man, I can't oh. believe you're a rock. Bodger just looks over and sees like, oh god damn it, we just fixed that. Oh, this <laughs> this this abaser is like makes a will save and is like, oh, I'm gonna do it, and does not do it. Does oh god does not do it. Oh god does not rolls a critical miss at a minus nineteen. That's a almost double critical miss. Um, then decides it's the better part of. Um, do, I believe do, in this guy next do. to me. I believe this is our Leon Skennedy. Uh, Oren, you're up. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> so. Yes. Didn't we have to do an entire arc just to get rid of the fucking... I kept saying, leave the thing alone. <laughs> like, let him die. Sorry. Let's just run away. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, see, no, no. Now, Zorin, we have this new arc where we turn Vina into an Oread, so it's fine. Yeah, this is this. It's like, what's your backup character? Wouldn't you see like a bard healer? Yeah, we'll, we'll figure <laughs> that out. Yeah, I, I got a you're, bard you're healer. You're a gargoyle. I have a paper shredder for all your backstory. I've, I've, also, that we just I've also, <laughs> also made a rogue. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm rocking it. They are today. giving. They are doing, giving. Or? Odo so many points. Um, it's like, guys, it's not uh, going to help right now. Uh, my, I had a plan already set up because I was going to get my turn nice and ready and mm -hmm. being fucking petrified uh, ruined all that. So I have to think <laughs> real fast and I'm trying to fill up air as I'm trying to debate what to do because now it is now... Well, so like, when you focus is... on thinking, I'll do something funny. Uh, hey, Chad. I mean... <laughs> The audience. I'm going to address the audience. The audience in the crowd that is surrounding this thing in the game itself. Uh, who would like to buy this lovely statue? 
you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, let's start auctioning it up. All right, Chad. Yeah. Can you know? Very... Can you believe Thurston Hillman literally objectifying women? <laughs> God forbid women do anything, right? God yeah, forbid women become the right thing. Tried not to get canceled before Gen Con. Uh, then you <laughs> just you ruin it. You could, you could probably you could probably like find some. I Vani can hold open the door now. Thanks for disabling our only female player, Thurston. You fucking bastard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Shit. Let's. What, what is, what is, I'll, I'll go to bed for Thurston once at this juncture. He didn't make. Odo attack the guy that turns people into statues. It's not uh, technically no, her he, fault no, either he made because the nobody guy knew that it. turns you into a statue if you attack him. <laughs> yeah, the problem was is that nobody could hit it. I didn't know he would do that. <laughs> I, I didn't know Thurston. you would do you know <laughs> fail. <laughs> yeah. Man, Thurston I you just go fail and get slow. I would have I I be like, hi, you know, this is Thurston. And then, you know, it's me. I'm Zoran. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Did you know that he petrified her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thurston, out of curiosity, what is the what is the stone material that uh, that Odo is made out of now? What what is Vani's stone material? Um, it it, it looks like like almost like a salt like stone. Like a, oh like, my yeah, god, like Bible yeah. reference. <laughs> Salty. I, I, I could propose Thurston. a question. What what, what like for for Vino, what? You know, anything from your hometown or something that would, like, do for it? I don't know. Have you got, like, sapphire or something you're made of now? Or it's Oh, don't do that. I might be tempted. Stone. Stone. We might yeah, be tempted. Yeah, salty stone. V- yeah, salty sea stone. Vina is now made of 100% pure Himalayan rock salt. If you put yes. her in the washing machine, she'll just disappear. <laughs> I pay good money to sit in rooms with that okay. stuff. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, sorry. I'm um, going to radio. I am not going to be able to, to save. Well, unfortunately, like I do not have any spell slots for greater restoration, which would help with this. Uh, I, but I, I, can... I should like point out, as far as you're aware of attention, once like Vina turned into stone, it's not like this oh, thing yeah. is like based at her, so you don't have to like worry that it's suddenly going to be like, oh yeah, and I mean, regardless, it's a worry. You know, you might turn. Yeah, more yeah, evil. yeah. So um, I could throw a bomb. But for character wise, Orin's so focused on trying to get people through. He 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 probably noticed through the crowd, maybe. But he's like, he looks at Rahua and goes, I need you to help help get Vina out of here. We have to leave. There's no reason to be here anymore. Come this way. And he's like still trying to ferry people, trying to get the people out of here, kind of go for it. And he's noticing a lot of people probably aren't going as fast as he would like to. Uh, so I want a Pokeball Gorgamonger out, you know, mm-hmm. out of pet cash. I got Gorgamonger, yeah. hot cheese, yeah, and go, and I want to bring Gorgamonger out to basically uh, kind of be near, kind of be near me in a way or so. Um, yeah, that, that works out just fine. And um, I'll basically use that as like an action to basically be like Gorgamonger, and then I want to command Gorgamonger to be like, like, and that, like make sure, like like I need you to scare all these people to get the hell out of here. And um, I said it's one action. That's one action to command at least. I, I should have two actions left. No one's hurt. And fly, <laughs> unfortunately, is a touch spell. Wait, I do have reach, but I just spin an action. Can I use my one uh, quickened action to be yelling for Gorgamonger and all that? No, you you, okay. you can't use Quicken to like get an extra command action. No, I'll solve like, the bullshit. You, yeah. my bad. No, so. no, no. <laughs> that would cause action economy problems for days. That's a that's a narrative declaration. If you would like to use one of your two points to do so, I would love it. For the for the hope of action economy, I'll agree to that. I'll negatively Good. declare. I'll agree. Get, I'll get all of that. So you can take away all my stuff. Catch your um, pal. Make it work. So do that, uh, yeah. and I want to. Do, 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 I still can't see Tanhauser. <laughs> okay, gone. I'm going to reach spell and cast fly uh, onto Rahua. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. But it goes from touch the 30 feet and go whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Now, uh, now for Rahua, you now should be able to have fly. I would put the thing on you, but it's been awful. Basically, you have a fly speed. 
Uh, pretty much skill for the air, gaining a fly speed equal to its speed or 20 feet, whichever is greater. So whatever is your greater speed, uh, you have, you could fly, so you don't have to worry about difficult terrain anymore. Oh, very cool. This and, is uh, extremely helpful to what I was going to do. And and since I kind of re rescinded the command stuff, so that was my one action to do that, two actions to do fly, Gorgomonger should still have one action now to do stuff. And I want Gorgomonger to intimidate the crowd. Just a huge roar, because he's large size, all this other stuff, to try to yeah. push people north to, or at an exit that's safe for them to get out of here, hoping to disperse the crowd to remove as much difficult terrain as possible. Okay, yeah, give me an intimidate check, please. Awesome. So Gorgamonger will do that. Yeah. And his intimidation is plus 10. It is nice. being rolled. Uh, I would like to spend my hero point on that because that is an 18. Yep. I would like that sure. to be a bit more effective, if that's okay. Absolutely. And he he had a little fur ball. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is a 29. Just <laughs> basically, just don't fucking wear. <laughs> he doesn't fucking wear. <laughs> basically, what they hear is just this humongous dragon war that just tries to disperse the crowd. Yeah, check give me your best way. Um, no, as... he doesn't fucking wear. <laughs> <laughs> you got one wah. Yeah. What's well, wrong? Why don't you scream? The only one wing in he this is situation screaming. is me. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Shut Vina up, Vina, into... Vina. You're dead. You don't even, can't even speak anymore. You don't exist Vina. anymore. <laughs> Vina just turned around and looked at oh, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, and now she yeah. is a pillar of salt. True. Yeah. And I, I guess I and technically... The crowd disperses. And with that, they've all gone separate ways. They've, they've moved mostly to the north. Some have, like, scattered about. Uh, you can tell that, they, that there is no more difficult terrain to worry about here. I... I want to see where I'm at. I didn't use it. That's the end of Orin's turn. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> and Morton Orin. <laughs> this makes room for the skeletons to begin their, 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 their continued advance. These are the tales of the skeleton warriors. <laughs> I believe in the skeletons. Hey, uh, Thurston, if I put myself at the end of the list once, do I stay there forever? You stay there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Once you move yourself, like if you delay, you you switch to where you are. So. Skillbert. Yeah. Rahua. Oh, okay. Now that Rahua can fly, <laughs> Rahua is going to wave dash as far as he can using his full 25 feet of movement. You can pass by enemies at this point. You just go, whoop. Oh, cool. And sir. Yeah. So I'm going to go 25 feet to here. Did you uh, say submarine? I... <laughs> what? You said submarine go here. No. There's no submarine. There's no submamoober. Okay. <laughs> My skull is breaking. <laughs> you go to you there. You are filled with <laughs> full of bilge. <laughs> Uh, um, can I object interaction to pick up Statue Vina? Oh my god. What's Football. your strength? Uh, I'm fucking jacked. I'm swole, bro. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm only strength 16. What the fuck? Uh, you are jacked. Good. You're pretty jacked, but Did you Vina... just call our player an object? The fuck? God I... damn it. <laughs> These are the tales of the objectification warriors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can... Yes, you can grab the statue representing the artist formerly known as Vali <laughs> named Vina. Okay. And I'm going to use my final action due to quickened to fucking leave. Yeah, you could have quickened up and, <laughs> and then you had two actions interacting. Yeah, yeah, you move. I'm going to drag it. Vina okay, what I appreciate about this is like there's Baldrick being all stealthy. <laughs> that fucking room with the tree man stops like running and like right in front of Baldrick holding the statue. Oh yeah, exactly. presumably it's like dragging on the ground, like oh, he's flying. He's, he's fucking taking Oh, never away. mind. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How high up are you? Yeah, he's cool. Uh, uh high up? Not much. Like 15? Like, probably, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd give you, like, an angle. There you go. Are you, wait, so you're holding the statue above the ground. I want to clarify this. You're not dragging I would use, feet. I would use Oh my that god, you're going to get her two pig legs. To... <laughs> <laughs> Just Just break her fucking her legs! <laughs> something so something broken legs. I narratively declare she is made of alabaster. <laughs> um, no, I'm going to use the movement that I have to angle downwards so I can set her down okay. gently. 
Okay, okay, okay. And between, hopefully with the, the carts that are stalls, here. Stalls, there's this perfect statue of, like pointing a rapier between two stalls now. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, hey, Baldrick, I didn't think you were going to be coming here today. Of course, Rahu is the only one in this party that knows how to pick up women. Jesus Christ. <laughs> As we've established like seven or so episodes ago, Rahua knows about sex. She's a statue. Okay, so pull her. And has her, it's here go. Thank God, that bit was terrible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're stuck in a mire. <laughs> just, be, just be glad fucking Vic wasn't here. True. All right. Time to cinch this epic victory. <laughs> Please spare I'm away the little man. I'm going to grab Stuart Medium. Okay. You're coming with me. Uh, okay. And, and now I'm going to do the following. So that was one action, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to move. Then I'm going to move. Wait, no, 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 <laughs> no. Now. Hold on. I'm going to time jump using the power of my quantum engine to pause time for two actions, which I will then use to move. Actually, my speed is 30, so I should be. Okay, which I'm then going to use to move. Okay, well, I can't move off the board, but I, I can with my actions. And I'm going to fucking use time jump to get Stuart Medium on the floor below us. And set him down. Uh, okay, and you just hear a. What's going on? And then one second, Stuart Medium is right here, and then he's gone. Okay. Sorry, one second. It's doing a weird thing. I have to refresh my foundry real quick. For some reason, it's like constantly zooming me in on a location, and I don't know why. Okay, and that will be the end of your go. Excellent, 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 excellent. Uh, grab Stuart Medium. Stuart Medium is over there and deposited. Uh, okay. One sec here. In my okay. frozen time, only mice can move. Uh, the, well, that's happening, and a baser is going to try to make a will save. Oh, uh, they fail, and they are booking it away. Oh, my God. Oh, not you. You can stay here. The, the, all the civilians. <laughs> all the civilians. Oh, that, that one's dead. Uh, this other one. Okay. So they're all making will saves to see if they'll stick in the fight versus... This thing, oh, that one does not. So that one. Nope. Nope. Oh, I'm out. Off the battlefield. Uh, this one here. This is this is the stand, everybody. This is the one who's gonna who's gonna make it. Uh, still not enough. Uh, okay. And this one also like needs to rush off. So you see several of the basers there. Their spirit breaks. They're not quite well trained. Uh, Baldrick, it's your go. Uh, also, you will no longer be quick. You are. Actually, no, you should. Uh, 20, get back. 20. I'm just going to leave the field. I'm going to chase after the fuck. Oh, wait, he hasn't left yet. I haven't, I haven't moved them yet. No. They were kind of waiting to see what's happening there. So. Okay, well, I'm going to flee the field, and I'm going to chase after a fucker by just running. Okay. If you want to go so. around it, because it might be a wall, uh, as you're moving your token press space, it'll like lock in that point, then you can go around. Yeah, there you go. Like make it a oh, pay point. There you go. Yeah. Hey pal. Hey pal. Cool. Yeah, I I, I flee the field and I follow hey. the fucking gold gold finger. Okay. Hey Vina. Yeah. How's it going? You know, I'm just rocking out. Rock, rock, That's... rock, rock. Oh. That's oh. Oh. <laughs> the last oh. time. Shadow her now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. Um, Shatters you. The the amalgamate turns its attention to you, Rahua. What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that what? <laughs> it's like... Uh, can you uh, just give me this? I'm I linked a fortitude save. Can you uh, 
click on that fortitude button and make that save for me, buddy. Oh. Okay. Nat 20. <laughs> yeah, eat shit, there's... All right. Uh, Be becomes it's hostile to my game master. It's very good. Um, <laughs> does does a critical success dispel other people's petrification? No, 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 no. But but uh, the ground around um, around you briefly becomes chilled. But somehow, Rahua, you manage to steel yourself against whatever happened. You don't see it manifest, but there was like it was definitely trying to do something. Um, and after that, it like it seems to like thrash around momentarily before hurling a a blast of flame at you oh oh uh hitting you uh for this will be fire damage but uh it'll hit you for 21 fire damage oh um and then that's its go uh vena's turn do i get to do anything uh, at the end of your turn vena you are no longer a statue but oh. that's at the end of your turn Yay. Oh, thank God. It's a temporary thing. Was... Oh. The skeleton warriors advance and attack with their, their outstretched glaives. Missing. Um, then we go to whoop, uh, another member of the Tyrant's Guild who uh, is now rushing off, passing by you, Oren. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, another one of the skeletons advances up on the corpse and uh, takes an attack, um, seeing wish, if they can uh, with their glaive. Nope. Uh, and then Ezra, Orin, you're up. Ezra, I really wish I I had a narrative declaration at the time for uh, when people were leaving because I really wanted the narrative to declare. Or like it's like, like come this way you gotta leave also join the revolution and i'm handing out pamphlets yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like, contact tan hauser at your local revolution center you know yeah <laughs> never stop the hustle truth be told before this fucking statue uh showed up i was going to waste my uh hero point on when i got up and like fled with the mouse i was going to just start spreading pamphlets everywhere so I imagine, I imagine yeah. that shortly before that, Ted Hauser was reaching into his pocket to pull out all these pamphlets. Then the amalgamate showed up, and then he just had to slowly put them back. Yeah. Uh, on the upshot, like we could like staple them to Vine. Ain't it being? I don't know why I keep screwing up your name. I'm sorry, Odom. My skull keeps You're good. It'll take I'm not time a rock anymore. I'm good. Well, I'm. I'm. We can, I'm we can still staple them to Vina. That's fine. That is true. That's we should. Idea. That's a good idea. Oh, you know why? I, I just realized why I'm doing it. It's fucking planet side. The Vanu. <laughs> so, um, I keep thinking of the Vanu. Uh, so what Orin Orin. is going to do is seeing that all the people are gone and they no longer need to worry about the stuff, he noticed um, Tannhauser has leaped over with the subject. Um, knowing that Baldrick has stealth super well, I'm going to assume Orin does not know where Baldrick has gone. Um, so Orin's only logic now is to leave and make sure his friends are safe. So Oren is going to uh, just kind of like pretty much just drop his guise of being a dwarf and he is going to then uh, shape shift or pretty much wild shape into a into a bird basically into like a merlin or whatever um, and he'll take two actions for that and then for his final action that he will practically fucking tug with ass like fucking shoot my token ass like <laughs> he flaps over um it took no he took bird. he's such a good boy it's like sorry i gotta have to look up the speed for, for chat and everyone time. watching because i think it's currently obscured i've changed the token to be tugbert <laughs> uh, what, what, what we will do is after I transform into a bird, uh, my speed will be 50 feet. I'll put that thing there. Whoop. And oh. something zoomed in on it. And he will, oh, it tried. It tried to do the spell event. And he will then move for his funnel action and try, trying to gain speed. So I'm gonna go up at an angle, try to gain like at least a good like 15 feet higher. So that thing is kind of out of range for him. Actually, mm, uh, I'm going to go under. I'm going to go under the thing. The overhang thing doesn't have like a yeah. pillar under it, correct? Yeah, no, no. Like you can go underneath this. Okay, cool. It's, it's Hannah Gorgamiger's bailing off the edge. 
Yeah, then and, they just head off the edge. Yeah, right? yeah, you can just drag okay. us both off the edge. We're gonna go under and try to see uh, a flying mouse. You know, <laughs> practically, you try to follow that. Um, okay. But the plan for me is to basically go under it and try to have Gorgamonger and and Orin try to help Rahua and and Vina get down somehow. You know, because I don't want to go across that thing and be affected. I'm gonna go under and try to get go in, try to help out. So okay. that's my plan. Uh, then one of the Skelly Bros is gonna come over as you enact that. You plan. know, if Vina was made out of sturdier material, I think we could like throw her somewhere. <laughs> yeah, like Rahua. a rock. Thing. No, rocks are flimsy. I was thinking Dude, of steel. If Rahua just fucking yeeted her, going, you'll survive. <laughs> 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 he <instantly> fucking dies. <laughs> After all this fucking trouble, just fucking, oh god. Just throw off the side, going, like, you'll survive. <laughs> oh man, who could have possibly Actually, I, seen this happening? I do have Catfall. I might live that. <laughs> Can you use Catfall while you're a rock? I'm not a rock anymore. I got better. No, I'm, we're suggesting you attack it again and become a rock. Oh, oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, that would really help us out by, uh, um... Whose it turn might. is it? it <laughs> it's, it's mine. So, so are we, uh, are we, are we fighting this thing? Or are we fucking Dipsky? No. That's a good question. Do we want to try and fight this thing? <laughs> it's clearly a too strong right now. I, I, mean, I mean, I don't know if you guys left. Tannhauser yeah. has jumped off the side. You would be alone. We're not in a good position to fight it. Leave. I mean, Bali's right reverse. with you. Do you think How long do I please have attack it with your mace? Rahua, right. please attack Absol it with your mace. You know, absolutely. I'm going to move up and attack it. Don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's fuck not it. smart, but if How you want to, that's it's up to you. If you die. <laughs> what would, what would Rahua do? <laughs> seeing that, seeing that Von no. Vina just got turned into a fucking rock. Would Rahua logic be like, yes, I wish to become a rock too? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Turned into a rock on a reaction, by the way. I <laughs> wish to become a rock. <laughs> um, how long does fly last? A minute? A minute? Oh, uh, I think it's maybe minutes. even 10, yeah. Yeah. A while. Uh, Damn, fly lasts right. five minutes. Okay, yeah, sweet. All right. So uh, Rahua will look to the non petrified Vina uh, and say, Oh, good! You're not dead anymore! That's great! Uh, do you trust me? You know what, Rahua? I definitely do. I don't care! Uh, <laughs> Rahua grabs her and he just cuts her off <laughs> mid-sentence. <laughs> and just uh, uh, jumps over the edge. All right, so uh, it sounds to me like everyone is now departing the field, uh, leaving the skeletons and, like, the two remaining abasers who weren't in initiative and never moved um, to try to fend off the amalgamate. So all of you are, like, rushing away. Baldrick is, is stealthing after this individual. Um, and I think that's a perfect opportunity for us to take our first break. Yeah. I'm Yay. looking forward for the uh, news bulletin tomorrow that these uh, three debasers and four skeletons successfully slew the amalgamate becoming yeah. new heroes of time. Yeah. <laughs> Tat, you decide if they won or not. We'll see you here in a little bit. We'll be right back. Please give us $400. <laughs> and we... that is all the spoilers for the new remaster books. Awesome, Thurston. Oh, thanks oh, for man. thanks yeah. for breaking your NDA for us. I'm glad oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're ahead. welcome. Like, ever since we turned the wizard in the remaster into a strength-based class, well, People <laughs> are not there. ready for the swole Ezrin that's coming. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> and I've won a cast you able, fist. You got, <laughs> you got actual Gangnam Style as a spell for the bards? That's fucking, yeah. it's, a little, it's a little bit crazy, yeah. a little bit wacky. Yeah, dude, I fucking love Gangnam Style. Yeah. Now now as a as a spell, you two can it's a cantrip too. And um it uses your well, ability modifier. We're we're you know, that's the one spell that still uses your ability modifier to damage. So, you know, Gangam style, get on it. <laughs> oh no. My roommate just messaged me. He was oh, no. going to the gym, but he forgot they closed at four today, and he took pre workout. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Well. Well, Rip Guess we're him. going to the gym tonight after the game's done. <laughs> Rip him. Flex. But of course, we are uh, back. Thurston. A yes. lot of stuff just happened. Yeah. It did. It did. Um, so we have a couple things. I'm going to to start us off, though, as we return with Baldrick. Mm -hmm. 
you have been chasing after this individual following them. I want you to give me two tests here. I want you to give me a stealth test and a society test as you kind of tr like trail this infilium um, and the like two remaining abasers who are at their side. Hmm. You know what, Thurston? I think I will do that. Yeah, okay. Please do. Is it stealth first? Uh, whichever order you want. I'm gonna kind of combine these for purposes of what happens. And I love rolling middle of the pack. That's a solid 28. Okay, cool, cool. For the stealth, and then the society, please. Hmm, sus. Society. Oh, nice, that's a 30. Yeah, so you're able to to keep pace uh, re relatively, you know, without problems, staying sort of to the shadows and whatnot. This, this individual seems fairly, um rushed like they're moving quickly um the abasers are struggling to keep up um you can tell that they're making their way out of the district they seem to be heading central um you can tell based on your society check that they're making their way towards one of the grand causeways the sort of like top of the collapsed grand causeway that would have connected the uh pons pilaster which is the district you're in and now the sinkhole uh, would have connected it to to the you know princess pilaster so, so it seems like this infilium is making their way to the princess pilaster hmm. curious yeah you can keep following like I'm, I'm just wanting like to, to give you that sort of update are you just gonna keep the tail on I, I think I will. I think I will firmly keep following this individual. Baldrick is confident enough in his abilities, and he wants to try and get some information while we have the opportunity, rather than let it slip by and be like, oh, well, I guess I never figured it out. Uh, okay, I'll, yeah. go, I'll follow them as far as I feasibly can go before it becomes too much of a hazard. Okay. Um, yes, good, 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 good. Okay, um, give me a perception check as you're going about. Okay. I will perceive. Perceive, please. That'll be uh, eighteen. Okay. Um, so, so within eighteen, uh, as you're as you're following this individual, you find that they are um, taking twists and turns. Eventually, they reach um, the, the the causeway. But as they're traveling along the causeway, they take a sudden and abrupt turn off into uh, one of these sort of side structures. The the grand causeways, by the way, are like these these massive, like in some cases, you know, fifty foot wide bridges. Um, but they have you know general structures every you know hundred or so feet, um, or you know two hundred feet in some cases that allow you to access the underneath because there's like sprawling buildings all underneath these as well. Um, Cobblestone and, and, highway. Yeah, and and this this uh, infilium takes a step. They they walk off the path briefly to go into one of these buildings. It's difficult for you. Um, your perception check doesn't allow you to catch this in time. So I'll need you to do another stealth test if you intend to like follow them and stay kind of hidden. I'll tell you what. I will do that. Okay. I just keep doing that. All right, roll. And Ooh, get a perfect. big number of thirty six. Now give me one more perception check as you're like you're you're a shadow on these these folks. Um, but you're trying to like keep your eyes Ooh. up and about oh twenty twenty four. That okay. one winked at you. It don't did. don't it you did. dare with me. <laughs> it did. I'm done with that one. We're through. All right. So you manage to 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 come up and um you know, come up behind him, I should say. And as as you do, you can see that this infilium has stopped briefly um, to exchange words with a a beggar. Um, and then the infilium has sort of immediately like walked off. Uh, you're trying not to attract attention to yourself. This this beggar is sort of like an old toothless man who's holding out a cup. Um, they're smiling, uh, but the one thing that that attracts your attention is that amongst all of this sort of beggar's paraphernalia, there is like a small brooch that they're wearing just along their their tattered robes. In fact, it looks like it's almost intentionally downplayed, but the, the brooch catches your attention, and it it's a brooch that is um, one of the the sort of featureless faces of outset but this one has its eyes opened uh can you give me a society check i certainly can attempt mm -hmm. i will throw that rock 
Oh, wow. And I'll get you a 29. So you recognize this symbol uh, with, with the 29. Um, you recognize it as being the symbol of office of the ch- one of the chamberlains of Outset. Uh, yeah. Specifically the chamberlain Cantal. Uh, or, yeah, Cantal. And Cantal is the the second chamberlain of the city, not Inathian. Um, mm-hmm. And as, as this happens, the, the Infilium breaks breaks off. And as they do so, you can tell that there's like a, a sudden like influx of Tyrant's Guild members that are starting to, uh, to, to fill into the area, almost like filtering in like they're you know, set to come here. Um, and these these include some of the like excoriaturges, like the ones you saw in the, the basement of um, mm-hmm. of the Dirk. Like they're these are like more of the elite troops who seem to be now uh, taking up position. You can tell it's going to get a bit harder if you want to tailor her at this point. Uh, I'll tell you what. Thurston, if I have the capacity to prepare ahead of time a couple smoke sticks and tail her, may I do that? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll here. Uh, what I'll get you to do is give me a stealth check. This is this is going to be opposed by a perception DC now. So terrific! Uh, I'm keeping my eye on that hero point. Yep. Yep, that's exactly why. Because I don't okay, think a twenty-five gonna, is going to be terribly good. You're going to use the hero point here. Uh, am I? No, because that's like a 50% chance. It'll be better. It could be worse. Damn, I could have assuranced that. Oh, well. Uh, no, I'll, I'll I'll stick with the 25 for now. Okay. Um, so so with the 25, you can tell that like some of these excoriators that are pick that, that, that have joined the group are picking up on your your presence now. Um, there's mm. like glances back after a while. Um, you can tell it's probably best to drop a smoke stick and like subtly walk down some alleys and get away from here. Yeah, no good. Unless you want to have a confrontation with this individual. I'm level 8 now, but I don't think this is a wise idea. There's a lot of them. What to do? What to do? Is there any way I could throw it on a smoke stick and continue to tail? Um, you're guessing not. Like, throwing down a smoke stick might just attract more attention to, to your position. It, it would kind of obfuscate the path you would take to F off, but you're not going to be able to get closer by using it. You could always take a hostage. Thank you, my friend. But I don't think I shall follow your rudimentary tactics. But then you'll, you'll have a man. hostage, though. And cast Coring Charge. It'll be a I don't dead think, hostage. I don't, I don't think that's a wise choice, given the situation. Because I, I'm not noticed yet. They're just kind of getting an inkling. Yes. They're like, it, it's kind of the, some this car is following me a fair bit. I'm in a car now. Confirm. You are. You're a car. Baldrick oh, car. I'm in confirmed. one. I'm in one. I'm driving a, I'm driving a DeLorean. I'm playing Shadow Run now. Roll 5d6. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, 5d6, sir. 25d6. <laughs> yeah, my, my dice pool for stealth uh, is quite sorry. high. I didn't know we were know. playing orcs today. Let me get my bucket. Mm. <laughs> uh, rock. It's a toughie. How about mm-hmm. you do? You know what? I think just for everyone's sanity, I'm going to give up on this one and I'm going to throw down a smoke stick and I'm going to bail out. Yeah, you, you managed to, to drop a smoke stick and, and sort of like re- retreat back. Um, this will bring us uh, back to, to the other party members now who have um, Stuart Medium with them. Did I, um, out of curiosity, yes. did I happen to keep good reference for what that beggar looked like? Um, Yeah, you'd have a like fairly fairly good Good reference for them. I'll look for that later. Continue okay. on. Okay. Uh, so the rest of you are uh, sort of like having having flown underneath or escaped in a variety of manners. Uh, you are now like on on sort of a, a causeway away from the um, the apple cart uh, square 
uh, that you were previously at. It's very clear, like, the sounds of fighting have died down. There's now sort of panicked rushes and move, movement of regular city soldiery, the menial undeads. But but everyone's kind of giving y'all a, a wide berth at this point. Um, and then, yes, you are all with um, our, our good friend, uh, Stuart Medium, who is, like, like breathing heavily. Um, I, like, Tannhauser, do you, like, drop the invisibility at any point? Like, once you're kind of in the clear, because this, like, this le- legit, this, yeah, this, this, this fellow has no idea what's going on. And... As funny as it would be to torment him indefinitely, I shall not. I will drop the invisibility um, once we land and we're, like, in a decent way away. Assuming there's not, like, Tyrant's Guard. They go oh, yeah, there. no, 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 no. They they all seem to be sort of, um, sort of, like, having, having, having left the area, there, there's no one of, you know, hostile note that you can see. Yeah, uh, yeah. Act shortly after, you know, Orin flies down along with Gorgamunker, and her, then you have Rahua who jumps over the, the edge. Just, just sort of all of you come together. Yeah. Her, you know, do you have like a cool reveal to him when you're out of invisibility? Like, yeah, is it I, like a cool camera angle? You're in an alleyway? Like, it just fades over and you see the glowing eyes? Or how, like, how is it? It's like know? a predator cloaking. It like just goes off in segments for like revealing Dan Hauser in the dark alleyway. Oh, 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 oh my. Oh, 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 oh. You were the one in the toilet stall. What? what? Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought you were about to go. You're oh. the one in the toilet stall, pissing <laughs> and sitting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, um, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, um, and as he's like trying to like get like uh, like some kind of understanding at this point I'll just assume like Orin and Gorgamunger as well as um, Ruhua and Vina all, all appear uh, I'm so glad I left this poor guy in your guys' capable hands yeah <laughs> exactly yeah. oh they're yep uh, uh, yeah, uh, oh yeah that's right I, I did run out of there. Why did the Tyrant's Guild capture you? Did they pin the events of that night on you? Yeah, yeah, they did. It, was, it wasn't good. They said all those things you did, I did. And I was going to get punished for it. Um, but, but, but then the, uh, the, the gold, the, the gold, the gold, the gold. The, the, the infilium the, the, um, um, the, the, they told me that, that, that they were just gonna they were gonna pardon me on the stage and uh, uh, and all that happened wait Clearly. so they were gonna pardon you while you were standing underneath the noose that's why they didn't put the thing on me clearly they were just telling you that to keep you pacified you can't trust a word out of these people's mouths Oh. Oh. You think they were going to kill me? For real? Almost certainly. Is oh. the Titan Guild known to pardon people at all? That sounds like that a... would be a bold question. Society question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> society. <laughs> yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll rock society as I try to consider because it has occurred to me that the Tyrant's Guild could be attempting to butter up the populace by yeah. making a show of seeming oh so very nice I'll use my yeah. man I search oh, fuck my brain uh 28 yeah, you uh, you strain uh, thinking about it, activating your internal nanites, and as you do so, you realize that is the exact type of thing that someone in the rank of an infilium might do. Um, that sort of like 4D chess play that wouldn't be expected, but could garner support and very much undermine uh, ongoing revolutionary efforts. Hmm. How interesting. Uh, as this happens, you hear. Oh, 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 there you are, there you are. As, as uh, Sir Crunch uh, begins walking down the street, waving uh, towards. Outset's oh, greatest fucking detective. <laughs> um, as well, <laughs> along Sir, with. Gumshoe, right? Along, along, with uh, along with the architect, uh, 
adept uh, Marlene. Um, they, 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 like they, the two of them approach. I heard there was all sorts of events happening. If I assumed you were involved. I came right away. Do you just kind of always assume that we're involved? Uh, when it was that foul creature that I battled after your fall into the pit, I had to be sure. <coughs> and and I I was and like like Marlene sort of like looks up. I was I was in the area and Sir Crunch appeared and uh, we we decided to, to join forces to find you. Oh. Well, uh, yes. thank you very much. Uh, is, that, thing... is that elemental creature still here? I must give it a good thwacking with my hammer once again. Uh, we're on the the floor below now. Can I still hear them uh, battling that no, creature? No, the, the, the sounds have, like, have abated. I think it's fucked off again. Oh, oh, we of didn't course stick it has. Too much. You must have given it the old wham wham. And, like, you can see, see Krantz, like, moving moving his, like, hammer. But, oh, yes, yes, yes. To have been there in such an epic duel. No, we I'm... ran like <laughs> we ran away. Oh, I, I dueled it very epically. Yeah, I I I, I kicked its ass. I, I assume uh, Orin gets cut off as soon as Vina says that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh no, we ran away like fucking cat. I, I fought it greatly. <laughs> oh, I beat the shit brave. out of it, but you know we, we had to get our friends out of there safely. So you know I had to had to. Oh, I cut it some slack. <laughs> who's gonna cock his head down towards Volley, like very, very clearly trying not to make a scene of it. Like, I, I don't know about that big dog. You might not want to lie to him. Who's Volley? Fina. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry, narrator. <laughs> yeah, just like as, as she's like dusting the last of the the salt rock off her boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy! How huh? well. Ha ha ha! Well, uh, this is this is good because now people don't know I'm pardoned. And oh, oh boy! But but you said they weren't gonna pardon me, so oh gosh, where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna live? Where am I gonna poop? Well, we do have a, a hostel that you could hole up at. Oh, do you have any relevant skills? Ah, oh, well, Deeper. I'm I, I'm really good at accounting. What's your job? I, 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 I'm, I'm really good at accounting. We gotta get him a job at the leftist commune. What? What? He can count Fina, all the times the I say revolution in a day. True. That oh, I don't think anybody can come that high. Well, I, 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 I do, I do finances. I, you know, I, I worked um, for for a little bit. I worked at a at a printing press company and and handled the creation and distributions of posters and documents and all sorts of things. I, I'm really good at managing these things. Excellent. What? Your skills are of incredible worth to our revolutionary movement. Uh, okay. Tell, okay. Tell me, my friend. Uh, and I put my hand on his shoulder. Are you willing to join a group of revolutionary criminals in the destruction of the tyrannical state that has kept you in shackles and bondage and threatened your life? Uh, we don't is there have a digital. bathroom there? Yes. Oh, I, that sounds real nice, actually. My man's got one. And, and like, like Marley sort of like <laughs> leans in like to Tanner's so like we, we really could use the, the help with the finances. I, 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 Crunch tried tried it, it, it even for the Smithy, it's not going so well. Oh, those numbers are just so wily, you know. They they keep changing. Every day it's like you know, they want to add more, take away. Who can, who has the time to keep track of all those numbers? Well if you're uh you are a skilled accountant, too, given that evidently we are in need of one. I suppose you would know how to... Oh, how how is it that they say the, this phrase? Bake the books? Yeah. Oh! Oh, so you're, you're needing someone who can provide you with all sorts of tax-related advice and, and, and assist in fraud! Yeah, basically. We do commit fraud a lot. We're literal criminals and terrorists. Mm, yes, we are that. My take is 5% of the fraud. Deal. Okay. Okay. That was easy. 
<laughs> that could balloon to be quite a bit. We should have negotiated or well, whatever. Oh, as long but, as but, I but you did not say. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, great job! Five percent in ah! a place to shit. <laughs> God, if we could all have that in this terrible time. <laughs> so true. Too real. Too real, Hulky. <laughs> well then, my comrade, I must ask you, what is your name? Tessin. What was that? Tessin. Tessin. Well, comrade Tessin, we shall happily hear you regale us with the story of your life and your adventures. But beforehand, we must briefly consider why is it that of all places, the amalgamate came to your execution? I don't know. I, I I never seen that thing before. That might be what? our fault. But the amalgam didn't follow us out of the city. Is it following us everywhere else? Well, what? What? Can I? Uh, the, the 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 fire and lightning thing. Correct. Can I recall knowledge? Because I thought that when the party encountered dude, he told them he encountered that kind of creature. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. You would remember dude absolutely mentioned the amalgamate, that it was like in the area, at least. I would be so sure that it didn't follow us. If you recall, our diminutive friend did mention that such a creature ambushed him and his party out in the swamps. It may very well have been looking for us. Perhaps so. Then maybe it's time for us to have a final confrontation with this monstrous beast. And perhaps it may be to our advantage that it occurs in a public place. How do you mean? Well, right now the Tyrant's Guild is tirelessly seeking to mend its reputation to attempt to make right past wrongs. It's a pathetic political ploy, but among the dispossessed, it could be quite potent. However, if we publicly are able to undo the thing behind this massacre, a thing that very publicly was able to best and destroy Tyrant's Guild operatives, well then, we may be able to undercut their anti-revolutionary tendencies uh, uh, without even attacking them. Uh, 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 if, if, if I uh, may, may interrupt, uh, uh, Mr. Tadhauser. Uh, yes. Uh, perhaps we should uh, yes, uh, return to um, the, the house. Yes, I agree. Let us depart and continue our schemes. Oh, I'm I'm so excited! All right. So with that, are you all uh, returning to uh, to to Baldrick's house? The people's yes. house. You mean the people's house? The people's <laughs> house. The the people's tenement. The people's Orin, tenement. I want to raise his hand nice and goes, "Where's Mister Baldrick? <laughs> wasn't, wasn't he with you?" <laughs> I was like, everyone's ready to go to the house. I'm like, fellas, Baldrick's not back yet. Um, <laughs> we didn't eat him. him. You got like house. a whole funeral. I like, kind of fucked up. That's <laughs> where <laughs> Ar 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 go, I'll, go fight, I'll go fight Mr. Baldrick. Can I roll a survival? <laughs> Try to track him down. Sure. Like me and Gordon. Has it been 10 minutes yet? Uh, I mean, it's a big fucking city, but yeah, sure. You can give me a survival. Absolutely. I'm Let's see what you get. I believe. I got twenty. I got twenty-three. Not, not, not that, not that good. I alack can, and alas. I can um. I, I want to hear a point it, but I also want to vouch that uh, okay. I can okay. obviously okay. turn into a bird. Yep. And and have you know eagle eye vision. Okay, we're and talking have, of city of a million people. Okay. Correct. 
You yep. guys can still pick that out. <laughs> can I? Okay. I'm, let me bullshit. God damn okay. it. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yep. And uh, I want. I want to. I want to re-roll. Can I potentially get a bonus? Uh, I'll allow you to re-roll. Okay. Just normal re-roll. Okay. Just, just give me. Yeah. Give me that sweet sweet oh, re-roll. That's nature. That's survival. Oh, that is a 33 instead of a 23 last time. Okay, okay. Um, so yeah, as 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 you are, you are you you kind of do a flyabout. Uh, what are the like? Are the rest of you just waiting there, or like, are you all making your way back to to Baldrick's uh, estate? I, I think that even if Orin is incapable of finding Baldrick, Baldrick will naturally return back to his house unless there's other things. Like, unless, you know, he gets, like, captured by aliens or something. Um, and so I think returning to the house might be our surest bet. Um, because if Baldrick <coughs> doesn't, like, return within a set amount of time, we can go out looking for him in force. It's true. Okay. <laughs> Good slurp. <laughs> You're Good welcome! Slurp. Thirsty! <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you all could hear that. Like, don't worry, everyone. Like, Baldrick's fine. (laughs) Baldrick's fine. Don't worry about it. (laughs) Oh, man, the drink stand was great. I'm so glad they had the root beer that I like. (laughs) I'm so happy that Tannhauser had time between saving a civilian who might have been okay at the end to go to fucking Mutton King. Yeah, we have successfully... uh... Mutton King branded soda. We got your own cup now. You know, like those Bucky's cups, which are like just huge and yeah. Now, now it's a Mutton King kind of cup, just big ass, insulated. Mm, mutton oh, yeah. King. Okay. Um. All right. Oh, I'm missing something. Oh. Um. Okay. So. Uh. Yeah. So. So. Uh. I assume what happens is the rest of you make your way. Yeah. Back to back to the people's tenement, as it is now known. Um. And as you are making your way back to the people's tenement, um, Orin, you f- sort of fly, do a fly around, and you are able to find Baldrick. Who, I assume, Baldrick, you're just, like, stealthing your way back home, right? If I'm stealthing, how can he see me? Because he rolled really high on perception and has eagle vision. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, wrecked. <laughs> I pet cast Gorgamonger, by the way. So oh, okay. Note, so we don't have to deal with that. Um, okay. Okay. And I didn't see your roll perception at all. I did, I did survival to track you down. Yeah, that's fine. Survival is the equivalent. What? Fine. How, 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 how do I find? Anyway. Fine. How? What is Baldrick doing when I find him? Like, are you like behind a barrel in a cardboard box, like? The answer is rolling better at you at stealth. <laughs> Fine, you don't find Baldrick, <laughs> and then you all go back to the people's tenement anyways, unless Baldrick, I, out of spite, or Nilla's going somewhere else. I bird truck and go, Baldrick's dead, oh, moves into his home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I Squatter's do. rights. Orin just like, I get, uh, I get Baldrick's bedroom, yay. No, you see, I'm doing I'm doing another bit. I wanted to do another bit here. No, no, go, go with the bit. Uh, yeah, go for yeah, it. Yeah. I'll follow. Uh, B- Baldrick is going home, but he is going to stealth past all the fucking squatters sitting outside of his house who can't unlock the door. Oh, oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's fine. I can make actually, it. That's make actually an not a problem because what happens is is Crotch opens the door to the smithy. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, I, I sneak into his door and I bar it from the other side with a chair. Uh, you were you were in the opposite direction, so they are arriving before you do. You're full of Sorry. shit, you know you that. <laughs> you can use a narrative declaration for that. Yeah. Can... If you want to narratively declare that you're like fast stealth moving um, and going to an opposite district, or you know, a, a, an opposite district, of I'm going to narratively declare that Crunch gets cholera instead. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Well, hold on. If he if he if he's getting cholera, that implies there's a cholera outbreak. And if I can't have famine, you can't have cholera. That's I didn't say you couldn't have famine. I merely said it was a bad idea to do that. This is a good idea. Maybe we should all start eating lemons and limes just in case just someone narratively <laughs> declared. <laughs> Vina, you get scurvy. No. All right, fine. I won't sneak back. 
been cut right. off at the pass by Thurston, so Orin finds me. God! <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm, I'm... I don't let anyone have any fun. That's... God forbid Baldrick do anything. <laughs> I narratively declare he goes to go see Oppenheimer. <laughs> oh. Orin goes sees the Barbie movie, then we'll switch. Yeah. Basically, uh, as hey. I find Baldrick, I, Orin lets him know this is what where everyone's going and going to meet up. And you know. oh, we're going to my house, you say? Uh, is that, no, we're going to Crotch's <laughs> house. You don't have Family a house, house. Baldrick. It's going our to our house. house. All In right, all right. Yeah. So, 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 Baldrick uh, is going house. to Baldrick's house, and the rest of you are going to Crotch's. So that's the that's the okay. okay, 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 okay. Uh, I don't have to change because I saw the map change attempt. Oh, he, he could preload, so it's easier when you use it. Preloading. Yeah, so I can do this. Welcome, everyone, to the People's Tenement. I hate you. Stop calling it that. <laughs> Here's the wall. Call it a house. Call it a house, or I'm going to start <laughs> committing my hero points to hurting the party. <laughs> this is a threat. I'll meet you the halfway. House, We're gonna call go. the people's the people's multi-level, <laughs> the people's duplex. We'll, we'll we'll agree the people's duplex. The people's duplex. Right. Fine, just don't call it a tenement. <laughs> All right, duplex. Okay, that, that's just Crotch's half. All right, after after so much time, everyone, thanks to Tutel, we have a map. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> Baldrick is, is going to briefly wave at all four of them sitting over there in, in Crunch's side of the in house. The hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> hi, oh, Baldrick. hi, Baldrick. You made it back. <laughs> Good uh, news. Baldrick. We found a new friend, and also we hired a new employee. Oh, hi. My, my name's Tess, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing books now. Oh, good. You didn't get we killed. are going to commit fraud. No, All right. it's it's just called being diligent. It's so true, bestie. <laughs> all right, that sounds fine to me. You gotta keep all the sensitive documents over there and not over here. If you let us put things over there, I you want to be more respectful of the uh, rapidly delineating boundaries between these two buildings. You can come oh, over. Oh, and don't worry, everyone. Erndil designed there. half of this map. <laughs> you can come over here if you need it, if you need something from me, but you're not going to keep evil documents over here, ones that could get me in trouble, like bounce checks or anything like that. Okay. You keep that over there. I, uh, I have a head cannon. I go off topic okay. slightly. I like to imagine the entire <laughs> conversation, Baldrick is just laying bricks to cover the wall. So it's like, yeah, yeah, you can come <laughs> over, just mortar. <laughs> How no, he, he's wall. got like, that, like... He's got that like roach chalk that he's just like drawing a line with. <laughs> he's like, "This is my <laughs> side. That's your side." <coughs> is the is the hole big enough for someone to fit, fit through? Or is it like a? Well, yeah, crunch oh, yeah, blew it open. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Okay, like, I wanted like to make sure. Five foot square equivalent. I, I I thought so. I thought so. I wanted to be sure though, so I didn't have to do more renovating with my sheer bulk. You do it. You do any. He. You do any renovating. You're going to become part of the fixing. I will make planks out of you, tree boy. Wow. No. I'm a tree. You are wood. He's our friend. <laughs> Damn. He's that's a walking so home nice. depot. <laughs> Including the tax fraud. Well, now that you're here, Baldrick, in our house, we can begin discussions on my latest plan. Ah, uh, Tannhauser. I think you've made a stumble there. What? Don't you mean our latest plan? And then I will, and then you hear the vine boom in the background. Tannhauser <laughs> 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 yeah, takes off the mask. It's the Martin at Roll initiative. Uh, <laughs> you make a fair point. Yes, yes. Our latest plan. But we hadn't all accepted it yet. Mm. The latest plan. Sure. I figured that this latest series of stunts from our dear friends in the Tyrant's Guild <laughs> <laughs> exists mainly 
to bring positive attention to their oppressive reign. In fact, our new friend, Tenant, what's his name again? It's in the chat. Tenson. 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 Good God. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm up my fence. I'm up my shit. Okay. Tenement. Our new friend, Terry, here. It's okay. I don't spell it consistently either. That makes it easier to commit the fraud. That's a very good <laughs> idea. <laughs> now then, our new friend. Why is everyone moving? It's distracting me. I'm listening. And listen, I want Mr. Tannhauser, don't worry about it. Goes to fridge, <laughs> takes out milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other experiment. The Tyrant's Guild claimed they were going to charge our newest companion with all of our crimes and then pardon them as a public-facing show of goodwill. It follows a pattern of benevolence from our glorious rulership. So to that end, I suggested a public display that would create no small amount of certainty that we are the champions of this pilaster and that the Tyrant's Guild are not. And that scheme is, we are going to take that amalgamate we faced earlier and we are going to destroy it. Now that it has created this public massacre, now that publicly the Tyrant's Guild has been shown to be incapable of stopping it, we will destroy it in a place that the Palaster will see. Well, I don't see any particular reason that would be a that would be a bad idea, but in this situation, we also have a great number of other things to keep an attention to. Namely, he's going to point towards the big hole in the wall. Maybe not bringing quite so many people back to this one place. Well, this is our safe house, Baldrick. Until we begin investing in additional property, which I do approve of. This is That's right! Point. Additional property like ah. the airship we were ah. promised? <laughs> The Hawkes. It's good. It's a good. It's very good property here. Did you die? What? No, no, no. no. I say out of one. character. <laughs> no, no, that was that was Doctor Krim. Die. She's okay. Yeah. Doctor Krim is the one who was turned who, who was experienced to Mister uh, Ordinary Sausage's meat grinder. Yes, the yeah. the gargoyle uh, scholar Duhakis. Uh, emerges from the the back the far back hall of Baldrick's house. Please get the fart gas off of my <laughs> robot now. <laughs> it's, it's not on my so it's just Zoran <laughs> has to refresh. Uh, yeah, let me let me refresh the stream. Hold on. Uh, he's, that's oh, it's not a fart. It's worse. Oh, <laughs> gassing the couch. <laughs> Farting. <laughs> Shitting. It's just like the noble. Do Hawkes, there we the go. Well, it's uh, back. <laughs> Baldrick's going to point at Duhakis and he's going Why? to actually be a little ornery. Just, uh, delete his token and then put his token back. <laughs> delete him, kill him now. Oh, ah! You are sent to the Phantom Zone. If it comes back, he still has an effect on. Yeah, he has an effect on his character what somewhere. The? So. Just check the effect? effects tab on his character sheet and, it, and it, it'll stop it's shitting all over the fucking house. He has none. It's just the token. Oh, well, I'm you're just, just farting. You're doomed to expel for this yeah. session. Good luck. I am farting. Just think, think you're trying to constantly Batman out of here, but it's failing. Far left or far right, bitch. I'm farting. That, better put the f <laughs> you, you put a fly thing on you, right? Cast fly again, put it on you, then remove it. I met yeah, Garlic Jr. in the code. Dead. To work that way. <laughs> Shut the fuck yeah. up about Garlic for, for context of podcast, yeah, let's basically, we use Foundry and it has a bunch of effects. I haven't updated to the newest stuff yet because Pathfinder's going through a transition and all this other shit. Da, da, da. So I haven't updated stuff yet that might have fixed this. But currently, Tannhauser's token is has these clouds constantly coming out of him. So it looks like he's constantly just fucking farting out of his token. Yeah, or token. It's, so He's talking. Uh, so yeah, he's toking right now, and yeah, I guess it's just talking. broken. The effect stuck on him. So uh, man, man really did just eat a pound of dry ice. Yeah, I just Tanhauser just sits immediately on Baldrick's couch, takes out his du bong. duplicate the actor <laughs> for him, and then put that down and see if that does. It. No, put put farting Tanhauser. Just use that for now. 
There we go. Oh. And, and you should have uh, ownership of it if not. Just oh, I, I really sure wish I could it. see these, but my computer will. Baldrick, give me back my mango. Oh, no, it's faith. working. Okay, sure. There you go. <laughs> now that we've returned to reality, Baldrick's going to point angrily at Duhakis. Where the hell did you come from? Don't tell me there's a hole in the back. Um. Oh no, Thurston exploded. Thurston. He, got ang he got angry. Energized Rahua, sorry. Oh. He's trying to fix Rahua's token, who's constantly yeah, I was, quickened. I was like, so. ah, whatever. Rahua, you're electric. It's less distracting. Let's go. Let's go. I'm Kaio Ken. Rahua Rahua teleport. Yeah. I would like to, everyone to know, too. I had this very nice, kind of like, oh man, you're at this nice little, like, like damn, doo doo. It's like an acoustic, acoustic guitar going. It's all nice. Little bells are going. It's supposed to be like an adventure shop. I couldn't find any other background music. So I'm just imagining Rahua is over there in the corner, just. <laughs> Just like a lightning <laughs> storm. Tanhauser's <laughs> vaping too much. Orin's chugging down experimental milk chunks. And Duhok is just like, hi! It's half A presses, Orin. It's half A presses. I'm never going to get the world record time! Face through uh, the wall. There is a like, clattering of pots and pans and various sundry items as uh, Rahua was clearly rummaging in the kitchen and uh, did not do well on a roll to rummage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. You Gmon sound affected a bit too hard, so now you're electric. But I think someone asked uh, the gargoyle a question. Yeah, I was I was asking what, how Duhakis got in here, because to my knowledge, there's no holes in the back of my house. So if she no. made one, there's going to be trouble. No, 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 no nothing. So, no. Crunch just had a copy of the key made for me. All right. Let's... <laughs> Baldrick's going to immediately storm through the other side and go and grab Crunch. Do Hawkes, don't worry. <laughs> welcome to go Hey there, welcome to Crunch. Crunch! You, you're not supposed to go back. Crunch! <laughs> I the just first time you have heard him clang. raise his voice that clang. loud. Clang. You hear this like muffled clang through the, through the door. There's a close... There's a closed door. Uh, you can hear the clanging is coming through the, the closed door. Clang, clang. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna push open the door immediately. Yep, you push open the door. The clanging gets louder. Clang, clang. He goes into the basement and he is going to shout once again. Crotch. I love this soap opera. <laughs> Thurston, you want to cut to uh, Baldrick <laughs> dragging Crunch back into the other room? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know how you're doing this with plate. I'm very heavy. Oh, 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 He's got to uh, nearly declare roller skates on his feet. Ah. We're having a meeting about this right uh, now. Oh, oh, team meeting time. I've always wanted one of these. Get your ass in here. Oh, right. Hi, Crunch. He's eating cookies. Hi. <laughs> those are those are cyanide. He lets uh, <laughs> he lets Gorgamonger chill out to fill up the room. I can't put the token down. If you don't mind, this is right. Fine. This is Gorgamonger just anyway. chilling. Yeah, yeah. Just just summons Gorgamonger. Yeah, here you go, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. One sec. Uh, okay, I love the Sims sec. episode, guys. Oh, it's great! It's great. Sims. I, it's Damn. why it's why we needed this this map to exist. Um, all right, so we poke a ball out of the dragon. Thanks. Uh, Put him there. Put okay. him there in the okay, house. Crunch comes in. Um, the the door to the shop opens after a clicking of keys. Marlene walks in. <laughs> oh. Hello. Get in here. Oh, oh, okay. Yank. <laughs> All right. Look. This is this is not a secret place if you just keep making keys for the people who go here. You should have to be with someone who knows where this is. If everyone has the key, it's not a secret. Let's, let's just start laying that down straight away, all right? I, I, 
I, I know, I know Crunch. Yeah, yes, and I know Crunch too. Yes, and I, I know me too. Yes, and he gave both of you a set of keys, which you shouldn't have, to my house. Well, well um, um, t technically it's to the store. Pointing to giant hole. But you, you invited me, you dragged me, you dragged me here. Yeah, and I, I just have no understanding of personal spaces. Gargoyle culture is very different about that. My people spend all their time no. perched wherever they want. Well, it's time to learn some culture about personal space. All right. The first one being, yep. if this is a secret, it can't be kept if people are coming willy-nilly. Oh. oh, okay. Dehakis is sort of like looking around confused. Hey, yes, Zorin. <laughs> yes, Zorin. Yeah, Sorry, Mr. Funny Man. Just, just what do you eat an apple? I was having a bit. That uh, does Oren know what an aneurysm is? Because I might <laughs> wonder if he might see one. <laughs> you want to give me a medicine? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Listen, I've taken enough medicine. I can avoid an aneurysm. I got digitalis, dude. Okay, Crow privately roll a two on the die for a 17. <laughs> you, uh, Baldrick's, Baldrick's suffering from just acute stress. Oren keeps eating his snacks with Gorgamonger. <laughs> He's watching. <laughs> no, I'll fucking end you. You hear me? <laughs> There's more crackling of like pots and pans from the kitchen as Rua is still going about. Just going over there to look at him. <laughs> <laughs> just like walks over there, stares at Rua, walks back in front of the fireplace. Look, it's good that we're working together on this. I'll admit that. But the problem comes in that if we're constantly coming and going from the same damn place with the same damn group of keys, then people are going to start to notice it. You need to keep without separate keys. Ugh. He's just gonna lean against the. He's gonna lean against the fireplace, the edge of it, and just. He's he's exhausted already. I believe we would be best off attempting to find additional safe houses, because while Baldrick's home is indeed a public property, <laughs> it would be of great benefit for us not to have merely one safe house. Duhakis, Crunch, anyone. Are there any other places that could also serve as decent secondary safe houses? And you were abandoned. What are you doing in there? I think, uh, I, from context clues, I think I know exactly uh, what the fuck he's doing in there. I think he's trying to uh, coordinate with Thurston's and he's a bit preoccupied. Uh, uh, well, uh, 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 Rahua, would you like to explain what you're doing now? Uh, so Rahua, while he's instant transmissioning around the kitchen, trying to do the best he can with what is available in the home, uh, has unsuccessfully and successfully accomplished what he set out to do the entire time. Which is? Rahua will burst through the door, possibly knocking Baldrick to, to the side or slamming the door in his face. I've been knocked to the side. Did somebody say food? No. <laughs> did, did anyone, I, did anyone I say that? I was thinking it. I'd like food. I'm down for food. What you making, Rahua? I don't know. I just put all this shit in a pot of the <laughs> stove and made it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But what you see before you would be essentially a, a roast chicken, some proper cooked vegetables, all prepared fairly nicely and properly seasoned for once. No raw chicken this time. What is, Rahua holding what is a, a nice looking say? meal. I don't know what this shit is. Yeah. What does your apron say, Rua, as you come out? says everybody wants to party with the cleric. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Oh, oh, 
I think I think we've made excellent progress on our discussions. We should table a break and have some food together. Have, have any, has anyone other than me talked about this stuff? But I'll look at the chicken and I'll notice that it's not radioactive, and so <laughs> I'll, I'll take a piece. I'll take a drumstick. Oh, we should. <laughs> we, we're not savages. Come eat at the table together. We'll have to look into zoning to see what's even free or what can be made free. Uh, Well, soon we'll have a second Skyward base, yeah? And don't forget we need to kill the rock monster. We have to eventually kill him, yes, but for now let's enjoy a moment of respite, yes? Mm, Very well. well. This is lovely. So good to have you all back. If you need to move your token in, hold shift while you're dragging. Shift, your token yeah, hold middle. shift to drag it. Out. It <laughs> let you Gorgamunger out, Gorgamunger out in the open. I for, close for, the door on him. for visualization for podcast listeners, uh, basically Baldrick's house. Uh, he conveniently has multiple chairs for guests, <laughs> which is interesting, and his home. <laughs> and, and his no, you his motherfuckers table. just like built them out of the ruins yeah, of we, my wall. We stole chairs from outside, <laughs> and. Um, so we're all now together, all kind of like all at this table. Gorgamonger's just chilling out out in the living room because he doesn't need food. And basically, everyone's just all here enjoying a nice meal that Rahua made. Everyone's all together. It's the it's the Mouse Noble, Vina, Duhakas, Baldrick, Rahua, Oren, uh, what's her face, and and uh, I can't remember her name. Sorry, Marlene, and <laughs> Marlene, and, and Crunch. What's all her together. face? Oren seems to be beaming. It, like he seems like you see like after a long while he's he's smiling because he's looking around at everyone going he goes like yeah <laughs> he seems very excited <laughs> and as you all sit down to enjoy this me- meal there is a knock at Baldrick's door oh shit we got another chair I don't know which one of us should go get that. We're kind of in the middle of something. I got it. A chicken. I swear <laughs> to God, if you get blown away in chicken. the instant you open that door. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna look, through, look through the people. Okay, uh, yeah, you look through the people. There yeah. is a golden skeleton standing there. <sighs> oh, this shit again. Yeah. I open the door. It is holding out. It explodes. A, an envelope uh, with a with a with a fine seal on it. This envelope is different from the one you previously saw, um, but it is like handing it out as though for you to accept it. Thank you very much. How, how's how's Golden Boy doing? As you t- you just are you taking it? Like you yep. just take the envelope. Uh, the gold the gold skeleton turns immediately and begins walking away. Okay, goodbye. Baldrick, where's your alcohol? <laughs> uh, denatured alcohol's in the back. Let me go grab some ethanol. Yay. Oh, so like, we got an envelope. Orange eating a... Uh, oh, no, keep it on my back. Oh, no, we got an envelope. That's it. I put it on the table. Hey. Where are you going, Baldrick? I'll... He's getting alcohol. He's getting oh. he's getting some of his spare aquafortis. I will open and read the envelope if no one else would does. Oh my god. What the fuck? Did, did, did your skin fucking fry as soon as you come through here? Like you just open up. No worry you wear a helmet, you hazmat suit fucking freak. Listen, fellas. Our BMK reactor cores do not explode. They don't. We're fine. Baldrick plonks down a rather ornate, not ornate, but like just well-made bottle that here that has like a clear spirit in it in front of uh, Vina. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pour myself a glass because I was raised with manners. Uh, you probably want to take that in. You probably want to take that in shots. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna down the hatch. What does it taste like? Uh, you ever you ever uh. So, <laughs> Everclear. Everclear. <laughs> it's 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 very similar to Everclear, with a distinct taste of uh, fumes burning through your nose. Uh, it tastes like a uh, poison, but it's not. It's just. Uh, let me let me let me check, quickly check the uh, the logic for it. Is it? 
Aqua Fortis? Is that what it was? Oh my god. No, that's nitric acid. I don't remember what it is. It's it's whatever the alchemical uh, name for, like, just straight ethanol is. Oh, man. I'm going to roll a fortitude save, Thurston. Yeah, please do. <laughs> oh, that's not very good. That's a 22, yeah. Vita's going to take a shot and just screw her face up just the most, like... <laughs> Oh. oh, I dig it. I'm going to pour myself another glass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's aqua, aqua, aqua Vitae. That's what it is. Excuse me. <laughs> aqua Vitae is a drink. It is an aqueous solution of ethanol. <laughs> <laughs> it's orange munching on uh, one the, a chicken leg or so. He's like, mm -hmm. it's, in the, it's in the layer. <laughs> You like points to it. I do want to know. You can't, you can't see it. it. You can't fucking see that. You're not allowed to see that. You didn't see that. You it, can't it, it see put that. it on the table. Hey, Tanny, you're opening the letter, right? Wait, it's on the yeah. tape? Oh, you you mean the drink that he passed Vina? No, no, he was um, meaning the the letter. That's what he was saying. Yeah. Oh, the envelope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Tanny, you're talking about the opening room. it? Yes, I will open and read it. Um,. It, it is in fine, immaculate script and reads, You, Vina, and your four guests are hereby invited to the Alabaster Salon in the Prince's Palaster tomorrow evening to attend the raucous gathering and cultural viewing as put on by the illustrious Sandal Deckland. Bring your keen intellect but be ready to be swept off your feet by Sandal's unimaginable charm. Important announcements ahead. The illustrious, and then it's signed, the illustrious Sandal Deckland, heir of House Deckland. Well, there's our invites. You oh, see, yes. it seems me, Vali, and four other guests have been invited to this event being hosted by a man named Sandal. You see, it says here, you, comma, Vali, referring to me because oh, I read the letter. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> what are you laughing shit. at? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take the letter. Okay. All right. Oh. So, fancy party. I propose. I don't I think have a really uh, good shirt. Oh, oh, my. What will I wear? You'll need, you'll need more than just a really nice shirt crunch. Oh, oh, so mm -hmm. it's uh, myself mm -hmm. and four others, it said? Yep. All right. So it's going to be me, Tanny, Oren, Rahua, and Baldrick. We're going to need outfits. Yes, I'm waiting. Oh, yeah. Are you going on a social gathering? I what know. could possibly go wrong in a social with all of you? As Duhakis stares into the camera. And that's where we're going to call today's episode. <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> yeah! Hey, guys, I think the Game Master's making fun of us. <laughs> don't worry. I have a great charisma stat that I don't use. Speaking of Christmas stats that we all never use. Hi, I'm Zoran the Bear. I've been, your I've been your host today, along with all of our amazing players who have brought you this episode of Rockrun. Hope everyone had a fantastic time listening to us. We'll go around the horn again so you can find them on their socials and see what they're up to. Starting off with Oda Roshi. Hi, hello. It's me, Odo. You can find me on uh, Twitter as uh, what? What, what platform is that? Hey. What? <laughs> what is it? Come yeah. on. We'll, see, we'll <laughs> see how much longer I'm on X. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gonna give it to you. But you can find me on the uh, community Discord as well. I do hang around there. Uh, and yeah, uh, I was playing Volley the uh, Vina, the self swashbuckler. I'm dead myself. Can't get our story straight. <laughs> so it's next up we have Hokey Crow. That is me. I am Hokey Crow. You can also find me on Zitter. Uh, that sounds like a slur. Also, I, <laughs> right? <laughs> it sounds wrong. All the same, you can up. also see me in some very funny uh, Ogre Popa name productions. I'm very lucky to be playing a number of characters through them, including Human Guy and all his horrible gurgling noises. Please watch <laughs> Half Life Zero Viscosity 2. Uh, you might find me on other platforms like Discord by the same username, but I don't know if I want to get Twitter to elsewhere. So we'll see. 
And of course, next up we have Aaron Dill. Hi, uh, you can meet me at uh, Twitter at, at Aaron Dillio. And yes, I'm going to still call it Twitter because I don't care. I'm going to start crying like flying Ryan. But yeah, we are going to be working on a great number of projects for Alpha Busa at Ogre Popening. And please keep your eyes peeled because we are currently working on hopefully finishing and finalizing the script for Hunter the Parenting Episode 4. Jesus Christ, we can't seem to stop touching this goddamn script. Speaker, help! We we, we did finish the script, Aaron Dill. <laughs> Is it? Are we done touching it? Yeah, we're done touching Episode 4. Now we need to start touching Episode 5. No. Um... Hi, everybody. I'm Speaker D. You can find me on Twitter for now until the mass exodus, until we all leave this crumbling hellhole of an app at Super Snake Kick. And in addition to all of the lovely things I do with Alpha Busa and Ogre Popenang, I would like to inform you all that you can preview the very first awakening one shot of, uh, my Mage the Ascension game, of which we are producing through Ogre Popening and the giving some animation. It's a live play, but it's not live. It's, it's weird. And you can find that on Alpha Buses Twitter, where you can see Hulky Crow awaken to the world of darkness. <laughs> yes. Very dark indeed. Here's. And of course, our illustrious game master, who helps with everything, Thurston Hillman. Oh, hi, it's me. Uh, you can find me on all the things at On Call GM. Um, I'm going to be at Gen Con this week. I fly in on Wednesday, For, but you'll probably, yeah. if you're there, I'll be there on Thursday. Uh, we'll talk about that in a sec. But um, yeah, but. I am the managing creative director for the Starfinder role playing game, and um, I'm sure we'll have some cool Starfinder stuff to talk about it. Gen Con, and I can't wait to talk about stuff there and, you know, explain things I've been working on. Yay! That's me. Yeah, and to not date the episode super hard, uh, this is for 2023 and stuff yeah. around at the end of July, beginning of August. So if you're listening to this way in the future, you don't have to worry about it. But for now, uh, me and Thurston will be at Gen Con and stuff, so you can come say hi to us then. And of course, yeah. I have been your host, uh, Zoran the Bear, and everything else. Thank you all so much for watching today. Please let people know that we exist either on YouTube, Patreon, a bunch of social media areas, and anything. Literally, just Google up Narrative Declaration, you can find the podcast version, everything else. Please let people know that we exist. Your support really helps keep us alive and keeps things running because without you guys, we wouldn't be able to keep on going. So, thank you all so very much. We hope you all have a wonderful time, and we will see you all next episode when we're back from Gen Con and stuff. So thank you all so much. So long. Farewell. And we'll see you next Yay. time. Farewell. 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 Farewell.